I'm well, gonna I'm gonna get up and adjust just there, a touch. Somebody said, "How come you guys don't do this before you sit down?" Because when you go live on YouTube, you do have a view of yourself that they take a screenshot before you start, and then and it we're centered oh, and then, then it goes. <gasps> okay, that's not bad. No, it's not bad. Trace. It's not straight. Anyhow, we're here. We're here. I feel like you know it was nine twenty eight, and I was like, "Where's Jody? What's going on I this morning?" I meant to text you saying I'm out the door. That's okay. Listen, this is like nine thirty ish. Nine thirty ish. How are we doing? Not so good. Back I don't. a bit. Uh, we're close. Do you think we're we're close? Maybe. I don't know, Jody. Okay, urch. That's probably perfect. Can you read it well still? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you guys, it makes us look Good morning. Like, like we do have no idea after seven or eight years what we're doing. I have to say that's okay. But I don't care if it... What? That's so off. You mean crooked-wise? No, but like this, you don't have anything showing here. Uh oh, okay, I see what you mean. Other way. Or whichever way. This yeah, perfect. 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 Um, hey, everybody. Oh, my gosh. It's so nice to see people joining us. Thank you, thank you. Hello from Montreal and Denmark and the Netherlands. What? What? Good morning, everybody. From Perth, Australia, 11.30 p.m. <gasps> Stop it. Well, that's kind of not a terrible time. Like, it's not well, it's, middle of the night. I hope you're cozy in bed. Good morning, Amanda. I'm literally just about to have my first sip of coffee of the day, you guys. I don't know why I'm a little Have behind. you heard the saying, I'm going to dial it in today? Or I'm going to phone it in? Phone it in, yeah. Okay, not dial it in. Okay. Phone it in. Dial it in is more like you're going to zero in on something and get okay. really specific. You're phoning it in, meaning you're going to put your feet up and not really do anything. Okay, so that's not even really the the my mood today either, but like... You just feel like there's a lot on your plate? <sighs> yes? And like days of not sleeping well. Shane's yeah. been away. Yeah. It's It's felt like it's been a really... I don't want to say heavy, but like a real week. Yes. And then I woke up this morning and I'm just like, well, we'll come I want to do it so much. Yeah. But I don't want to roll my body out of bed. Right. Was, right. What was right. my morning? But now that I'm here yeah, with you, made you it. it's you made so it. good. You made it. Let me have a sip. Mama needs her you Dr. Pepper. You need to charge up on the Dr. Pepper Zero. <laughs> You're so funny. We all can relate to those mornings, guys, where it's, it's just like... Oh, for sure. You have no choice but to like get up. I feel like you feel like a Monday on a Thursday. Your hair looks cute. Thanks, Joe. Wispy. Got a, got a haircut yesterday. It's cute. I, she cut a lot off and... I like the wispiness snipped, of the... Snipped a yeah, lot out of like... Because it's mine's a, a bush. It it gets very big, thick um, hair. From Sweet Magnum. Good from, morning, Star. Hi. From, From Magnolias, what's that movie? Where it's like a helmet, it's like a brown football helmet. Yeah, Sunrise. Sally, Sally Field. Well, it's funny you say that because last week I thought I was giving Kate plus eight. No, I said you need way longer bangs for that. Okay, <laughs> your hair is always cute. Hey, Boston and Kansas, how That's is so everybody's fun. Thursday? Did we surprise you? Did you miss us yesterday? Oh well, it's just like. I don't know why we make plans. We're like so official and we make a big Instagram post about changing our schedule. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, it's a week. Like when you get back from holidays, it's just been a week. And it worked better on Thursday this week. So Lolly said it's for once sunny in Pacific North Northwest where she is. Listen, all we've been had this week is we have torrential rain, which was really great for all these forest fires mm -hmm. that are burning in our province. But then it went to the other, you know, people were being evacuated for fire. Now they were being evacuated for flooding. I don't even know. It's bizarre. Yeah. So anyway, our grass was like a jungle. Mm. So thick. Uh, Plants have gone crazy. Yeah, it's just Did it's you get water in your basement a little bit? Tiny bit? The smallest drizzle. And that's only when it's like so saturated. Teeny yeah. weeny. Nothing yeah. to, thankfully, yeah. nothing to. So we seem to always start with the weather. Today it's gorgeous. It's mm. going to be like 20 degrees. Which and for we're not me outside. is like Whatever. perfect. I know. And yesterday everything's so wet out there. We needed to. But days. I could have brought out like I also dry thought pillows. just purely for simplicity today, let's just sit inside. Yeah. Right, this Tracy, yes. we have this set up. Tracy's got to bring some things down, but you don't have to. I literally just had to bring down yeah. the microphone and the yeah tripody thing. 
So we're here. Okay, so um, you guys, so this first part of the podcast is going to be a bit of a recap because we're still reeling from our Montana Big Sky Retreat with Farmer's Daughters Fiber. It was like reality shock. Mm. Back to reality this week, but last week was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. So we got to go on a road trip to Montana. Uh, Great Falls. Ish. Through Great Falls a little bit. What an amazing part of the world. It was the most perfect, beautiful weather yeah. to go to that part of the world. And we we kind of flew halfway and drove halfway, which I think made it really fun. Let me tell you, I would do that again. It was really, really fun. I would we do it again. We flew to Lethbridge and got to have dinner with our friend Kelly. And that is a treat because, honestly, it sounds bizarre, but it's we've never been to Lethbridge. And we've lived in Alberta our whole life. Mm-hmm. Or spent any time there. I'm sure you've driven through going to Montana. Yeah, but that's not to me going somewhere. No, that's like true. I never, st- I've never, I think we must have driven through to go to Montana several mm-hmm. times. But literally, like, psh, didn't stop. Do not pass go. Don't don't have dinner. Don't yes. stay overnight. Um, so she was really fun. Our Ke- our friend Kelly was so cute because she gave us a tour. She's lived there her whole life almost. Lethbridge topography with its great crevices and the river that runs. It's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. So hilly. And And green. Yeah. And beautiful. And it's not a tiny town. It's big enough to have everything you need. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, but not so big that it's kind of got that drawback of being like a big city. Megan's in Lethbridge. And it's close enough to places mm-hmm. like Calgary or across the border to the U.S. that you don't have much of a drive if you need to go get something or go on a holiday or whatever. And we the, loved yeah. it. It's not a giant city. No. It's a city, but it's not giant. Surrounded by farmland. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, gorgeous. Mm. And we, it was great. So then we hopped in our rental car the next morning, straight to Starbucks, got our breakfast, and we had this great plan. We were going to go to a grocery store in Canada and buy a whole bunch of snacks that aren't available in the U.S. Chips, coffee crisps, yeah. certain things. Uh, we were so excited to get going. <laughs> our car didn't even, we didn't even remember. No. We did not Isn't even remember. Isn't that funny that the two of us, two oh. brains, well, you can count on me to never remember. Anyway, it was kind of silly, but mm. the drive was amazing, beautiful, green mm. land, and before you knew it, we were in Great Falls. Yeah, before you knew it, we were Watch driving up. We were driving up to the big red Target. <laughs> yeah, of course, right? Mm-hmm. Had a little pit stop at Target. Only got some jammies. Had to get I, something. Yeah, you know, it's still so fun to wander. We managed to do it over like over an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. It yeah. always is. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people. Yeah. But, I mean, when our kids were little, it would be like stocking up for summer clothes. Mm-hmm. And they still have the cutest kids' oh, clothes. That department for, like, up to, like, And 12. we tried on dresses. Like, we were doing lots of things. It wasn't just – we tried on a lot of stuff. Did you I, not buy anything other than pajamas, really? Uh, I got that um, makeup eye, eye oh, yeah. thing so that no I really other... like. Yeah. I should share that, too. It was such a good, affordable – um, cream eyeshadow, kind of a sparkle. Yeah. I really like it. I'll share it. I'll okay. bring it back. Um, anyway, it was great. But the okay, whole good. point of that is we were heading to the Big Sky Retreat uh, with the Farmer's Daughter Fibers. Their first ever one. I feel really lucky, first of all, that Candace hosted Tracy and I at the event. It was a phenomenal um, invitation. We are forever grateful. But to be the first no. and... To end up having the most amazing experience through three nights, three days, it was incredible. It really was. And I mean, I feel like anytime you go to a retreat type situation, it's it the the location was amazing. Mm -hmm. The hosts were incredible. It's just always the group and the connection and the relaxation. I feel like we totally rested. Mm -hmm. I had plans to do yoga in the morning. Our bed and our house was so amazing. I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. Mm. I was like, I'm not doing it. Um, which I was okay. Wa- I wanted to be there. And Candace was really specific at the very beginning yeah. to say, this is a retreat for you to make it your own. Exactly. If you want to step away and have a nap, if you right. want to not miss yoga, if you like, yeah. she was like, this is your time. You make it how you want. And I think everybody came away with that. Yeah. What a great group. And I mean, from all over. 
Mm. Like Kentucky, Boston, New York, mm-hmm. California, do you Seattle. Guys, do you guys remember Nancy? That who we a made a long it, time listen, a long time viewers might remember who we made it onto her um, Christmas card. Nancy was there. Oh my gosh, that was just we the adore coolest. her. Yeah, uh, but but what a cool thing. So we'll talk a little bit about what we did there. Yeah, but um, listen. We went as two. There were several people there that went on their own. Yeah. So don't think because you don't have a knitting BFF that yeah. you you didn't you don't think you'd do well. Listen, as soon as you step into a place like yeah. that with fellow makers, you're instantly friends. Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. You're with your people. Yeah. And it was so fun. Yes. It was so much fun, and I think well, everybody everybody felt the same way yeah. that they had rested connected with people kind of felt recharged and i mean you just everybody goes is going through a lot in life everybody yeah. is and i feel like if you have the opportunity to you know save money and do something like this one day where you get to get away for a few days just you and i know it's a lot to to do that for yourself You know, I would feel like a little bit self, like it's not a family Mm -hmm. holiday. It's just me. And I think, you know, I think we do need to do that for ourselves sometime. And I think it's an amazing decision. And if you can swing it at all, um, there were mothers and daughters that met from opposite sides of the country. There was sister, more than one sister group, more than one mother daughter group. Um, And, you know, and of course you can come alone. Uh, How about Kirsten drove from Edmonton? Uh, Kirsten didn't call us. Offended. Didn't call us. We could have carpooled for eight hours. Can you imagine trading off a knitting time? Um, yes. And I also think maybe there's a reason she. Didn't I actually call really us. do like the driving part of it. Like, <laughs> if I did eight hours, I probably would no, switch off. We have to switch off. But okay, yeah. listen. One thing that I wanted to mention before we kind of dive into the fun stuff that we were able to do is walking away after a weekend like that. Actually, really sitting and talking to people. It really hit home how you never know what's going on yeah. behind the mask of people because women, the women's stories that we heard, A, they're warriors. Women totally. can do anything. Yeah. And it's amazing how strong women are. And we walked away thinking, we're so grateful to know every single one of the people there. Oh my there. gosh. You know, you think three days, how much can you really yeah. get to know? You would be surprised the depth of the conversation that happens. I just feel like everybody just felt really comfortable together yeah. because we had so much in common. Um, and it was just, it was just, it really was one of those kumbaya moment, right? Like the whole thing where it felt like grown-up summer camp but the best like with the best food and the best accommodation like all of that stuff was so great and they felt so safe yeah in that space to share their stories with Mm -hmm. all of us sitting around and i hope they took away like i did too thinking gosh support support you're never alone um i loved it i loved meeting every single person and i will not forget anytime soon our you know connections that we made and the new friends that we made but the the um, the team of Farmers Daughter Fibers and Candace and Fiona, who was there to facilitate and help out with absolutely everything. It really was just... Lindsay and Sarah yeah. were two of the fabulous women that helped out at the retreat. Huge. At, there's the team at the dive studio. Like, yeah. the people that were there, the people at... Um, the ranch. They were just so welcoming and warm. And there's everybody... Fiona's here this morning. Fiona's morning. here? Oh! So Fiona came from Vancouver. Yeah. Um, anyway, I, that's I just felt in this little cocoon of amazing creativity and connection and warmth and love. And yes, the ranch. You guys, you need to check out the location online because driving up to the ranch, like we drive in on this gravel road and there's this beautiful paddock with horses and all this stuff. And it's very hilly. So you're, you're going up the hill and there's this gorgeous log um big log structure it's called the clubhouse it's actually like a restaurant Mm. and kitchen and giant deck and you can go there for meals and stuff Mm -hmm. right um it was just so like rustic but awesome and then the properties you you didn't sacrifice anything you just got the beauty of montana Mm. all the windows all the hills 
that giant deck with a fireplace that we would knit on every night. Like, it was amazing. Yeah. We should show your little flippogram you made right here at the end. Um, you know the little... I think that's on our Instagram page oh, too, right? Oh, it was so good. You liked it? Good morning. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> we took a lot of pictures. It was really fun. So Everything was super fun. This retreat... So we all got there the first day, had dinner, visited. The next morning was our field trip day. And mm -hmm. this was like no other retreat. I mean, we haven't been to dozens of retreats, but we've known and been part of a few. This was really next. This was really customized because Candace and has a shop, Farmer's Daughter Fiber, yeah. right in Great Falls. Yeah. And also a separate dye studio. So we got to, to start out, we were in a party bus with a stripper pole. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Second, couldn't get Joyce off the stripper pole. We got to shop. It wasn't closed, but it was just 35 knitters going into a yarn yeah. store, all shopping yarn together. Yeah, it was really great. And um, lots of times, you know, these th these include a class, like a knitting class or a crochet class or whatever. This was so awesome, I think, because mm -hmm. you didn't have to be a knitter. You could be a crocheter, a weaver, or whatever. It the class was dyeing your own yarn in. The fiber, um, Farmer's Daughter Fibers Dye Studio. Yeah. So right where they do all of their yarn with their team. I mean, it was the coolest thing yeah. to be able to meet them, to go back in their space. And we learned to dye variegated speckles and semi-solids. So Xander, who is Candace's husband, runs the dye studio. Him um, and AJ and the team there. And Alyssa. Who are incredible. And, yeah. Um, led us in dyeing three skeins of DK yarn. Let's show what you got to choose from. So you think, oh my gosh, I wouldn't know what to pick. What am I gonna do? Well, I hope it's okay we share this, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. So the morning of the day, Candace shared with us some color palettes. Here's one more. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my blue one. It's probably upstairs somewhere. So you got three color palettes shared with you and their inspiration photos. And you got to pick one of those palettes. I chose this one. without. We, I used no orange. We both ended up choosing this palette. But come on, it was like, you couldn't go wrong. So no. many people. This color here, I almost chose this palette for this corally kind of dirty pink. Um, but you can, everybody's yarn looked so different, even though the color palettes were I'm so, it was such a good idea to narrow us down. Oh. Give us a palette, and then you can choose your favorites out of those. Use them all. Use two. Use whatever you want. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, we we went similar but different. Okay. So, so we both good. chose this color for our semi-solid, but AJ was like, okay, here's the percentage of dye we use to get this color, but you can do whatever you want up yeah. to a certain point. Yeah. So, Jody added more dye. Of course. Because she's extra. And totally. She's very extra. So hers is darker because she upped the dye yeah, in the water. Yeah, more saturated. So fun. So fun. So, and then it was, um, we did some speckling. So. Okay, look. Okay, so we picked the same color We were in palettes. different groups, too. Like, we, 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 we like split worked us in, up. Diff we were with different people. Yeah. Um, I feel like this color reminds me in the family of Ranch Romance. So you can't get these colors, obviously, but you can go to Farmer's Daughter and get your own better versions. Um, you, so, yeah. You also got the option. This was part of your retreat package. Yeah. There was, if you wanted more DK, you could just add on some DK. A couple of people yeah. dyed sweater quantities yes, of yes, their own yarn. Yes, you could purchase extra skeins. Yeah, it's Thursday. This is why we're not outside. Look at this, you guys. Lawnmower man. Jody, I love that. Right? So when I was dyeing my semi-solid and then variegated, I thought, oh, I want to make them so different for striping or whatever, or color work or whatever. You guys, I am not a dyer. Um, I do love the way the autumn variegated turned out. I just wanted it totally contrasting. And I think it would be really cool to well, watch a color work thing and see how it turned out. Well, orange is... The complementary color to blue, right? right? So it's they're they're beautiful together. Actually, when I pull these out of my suitcase, my husband's like, "Oh, I love that." <laughs> and remember, it's going to look very different skeined and knit up, right? So, I mean, did I, you use any of the blue in that one? No, or no, you wanted no, the yeah. No, I used the brown. I would love to orange, see you swatch with that to see what and that light 
Yeah, I, I would too. Yeah. I mean, I love it. So this is the Farmer's Daughter Fibers Juicy DK. You guys, it's, it's a beautiful base. 100% superwash merino. Yeah. So totally awesome. And then we speckled. Where's your speckle? Right here. Show us your variegated, Jody. I love it. So my variegated, you guys, I just used, there was like a, so much. a bone color kind of, a really light color. There was a deep, deep, deep purpley. So these are the colors. Yeah. So use this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. And I think I used the so brown, use three the colors. orange, and this one. Speckles, I added, the, this is the only place I added orange. Right. And I went, I went, um, same idea. Ah. So. Look at our speckles. It could be a fade. But I didn't do any of the purple. The dark. Right. Um, it totally could. So it. anyway, I think all of the skein, everybody's skeins were like, so the morning we were leaving, these stayed in the dye studio. They got dried and wound up and labeled like they're a fish, um, official colors. And everybody, they were wrapped in a brown paper bag with our names on them. So we all got to open our yarn the morning that we left. And do show and tell. And it was like, awesome. One awesome. other event we did that was the next day, the next morning, um, the next day, Candace and Lindsay, I think what Sarah was there at that point. Yeah. Led a team. Um, Fiona. Fiona. Was hiking. Um, it was a really a hiking team. Walking. Like, walking. Um two separate little walks. Yeah. And it was a beautiful day for it. And we sat by the fire in the lodge and knit and just there talked. Was, yeah. 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 Right? It was great. Yes. And then the afternoon you chilled, but then <laughs> Cowboys and cocktails happen. Come on. What's that all about? Um, we don't want to spoil too much. I was just going to say, you will love it. Yeah. It was an outdoor cocktail party down by the paddock. There was chances to ride horses. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the ladies were riding mm -hmm. horses. There was a baby colt. How old was that horse? A week. Oh, it was the cutest thing. Um, it was like she was a magnet to her mom's side. It was just so much fun. Another mm. way to get together. And there were awesome cocktails down there. Co mocktails, cocktails, the whole mm -hmm. thing. Um, again, it was just so much fun. Jody, did you ride a horse, said Amanda? No, my hip I don't think would have loved that position. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like that open... Don't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I um, agree with you. Right. Listen, you, when you have a hip issue, ladies, you have to make certain... Right. There's you can only do so many activities, no. and the horseback yeah. riding wasn't one of them. Right. Uh, I bought a horseback riding sweatshirt from Harvest Daughter Fibers, and that's it for me. That was. I bought the t-shirt version. Oh, you know what? Short sleeve t-shirt version. Like, I've been bucked off a horse. I've had bad horse experiences, and I'm a chicken. So I really didn't yeah. have any desire to do that in yeah. front of all my new friends. But I enjoyed very much watching everybody else. Yeah. It was just gorgeous. What I noticed and I went and had a peek see is Candace is hosting an August retreat that is mm -hmm. completely sold out, but there's an October one that there's still spots. Yeah. There's a couple of spots left. Mm -hmm. And there were people that drove and, you know, if you're if you're semi localish, if it's not too bad of a drive, you should I, I know the next groups are gonna have the best time. It was almost impossible to believe that that was their first one because mm -hmm. it for us, it just felt seamless. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we broke in that team in the dye studio. Yeah. If they were so good. I bet you. They came out sweating and smoking. It's like, I, like, like you've just been through. It's like, the oh gauntlet. my God, we like did it. Were, like, like, sweating. Um, 30 knitters that are like, no, nothing. It was really fun. It was super fun. Um, I... All of this to say is if you ever get a chance to attend one of Candace's Big yeah. Sky Retreat or go anywhere near yeah. Farmer's Daughter Fiber in Great Falls, Montana and get to visit and knit. They have a space upstairs. They host a Wednesday yeah. knit night. Their staff is incredible. I kept saying to Candace, Please this do. is one of the nicest yarn stores yeah. I've ever been to. Yeah. It is cool and groovy in this historic building but it's beautiful and the displays are gorgeous and it's it's way more than a yarn store people that yeah. live there there's like cocktails and glasses and books and jewelry I brought who, am I? who am i who am i i come home with beautiful jewelry um it is much more than that. And sure enough, we couldn't even need leave the town without going back. So we were at the shop. We did. Many of us many of us left the retreat to go back into town straight to Farmer's Daughter Fibers. So 
I was so distracted when the whole group went the first time thinking, I want to knit like everything, everyone's knitting. Yeah. So I couldn't hone in on anything in particular, but then stepped away and came back the next day or the end with a project. Yeah. You guys won't believe. I wasn't even the one that was like, we need to go back. Jody said, I have a new project and, and I need starts, to go back for yarn. It starts with an F. Wait till you hear about it. Okay. Well, and I'll share the yarns, most of the yarns we got, because mm -hmm. one of them was a unreleased brand new yarn that we can't tell you any, anything about, but I can show you the color probably. Um, we can't show it? We can't show it? No. Oh, good. G glad you told me that. No. I ordered more <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> it's on the way. No. And I mean, the staff at Farmer Starter Fibers were, t were knitting samples of an, an unreleased pattern that comes out next month. Got it. Okay, good. I knew so it was not released. That but... is all sort of like on the down low, but it was really cool to see those. Mm -hmm. um, and I did get yarn for that. So I'm really, yeah. lots of us were on that wall trying to figure out what yarn to get. Also, so. I wanted to mention, you guys, I know sometimes it's really hard on a computer screen or sometimes it's hard to compare side-to-side -side things. A Farmer's Daughter Fiber offers yes. a personal free of charge shopping experience on Zoom yes. or whatever. No, Zoom. Zoom only? Yeah. Um, you can book it yourself on their website. Yeah. And just go and click the time that works for you. Um, Sarah will walk through. You'll she'll pull yarn. She'll do as long as you need to to find the exact yarn for the right project. Yeah, because you know, of course they've got customers that are nowhere near Great Falls. It's such a great service to offer. And listen, I'll probably be using that at some point because I stood on that spin cycle wall oh. and pulled yarn for forty five minutes. I know, not knowing what how many I versions of this sweater did I and you're like yes. oh I love it and I was like forget it I'm starting, no. I'm starting over pick your own yarn um anyway it was super fun so we just want to send huge thanks and yeah. love to everybody that was at the retreat and especially Candace and the whole team and group and we mm -hmm. just feel gratitude and a big you know huge hug to everybody and you've given us incredible memories and mm -hmm. um we just we just had the best time. Just the best. The best. We okay, and we always cut step away from those being completely re-energized about yeah. knitting yeah. because you see these. Oh knits, my gosh! The knits. Oh my gosh! So so it was like, I'm the worst packer. Like that is official, official. But so many people brought beautiful sweaters. Let me tell you, if you go to Montana, even in June, you need a sweater once the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. It was cold. I was yeah. shivering one night, um, but it was wonderful. So. Uh, it was amazing. I, I know everybody's back to their real life, but it's really fun to be able to go to those get-togethers like that. Mm -hmm. So. So good. Yeah. Um, okay. I hope we run into any and all of everybody again. I do too. There was a few people I would like to sit down for more conversations. More, most, all. But there was a few yeah. people you're like, I don't feel like we finished, yeah. finished chatting. Yeah. But totally. It was wonderful. You've been swatching. You know what? Truth Jody. be told, you guys, you get so busy on these retreats. I didn't knit very much. And I I have knitting to show, right. but not much that I've done. Okay, I knit Dad a pair of socks for Father's Day. They are not here. Yeah. I forgot to ask for them back. Did so he love them? <sighs> threw them in the garbage. Um, yeah, I think he loved them. I oh, hope they fit. They were so nice. So I'll try and get them for next time. Okay. I'm sure I'll be able to get them for next time. I did do... Um, some knitting the whole time, actually. I do have knitting to show. Well, here's the deal. Jody, we were going to split the drive. Jody drove everywhere. Every minute in the, our rental I actually, car. I actually like driving. Well, and we had a I don't mind it at all. No, I know. And I would have absolutely... Um, we had a really great car. Yeah. A Buick Enclave 2023. Brand new. You guys, it had massage. Yeah. Not just that lumbar support, but like rolling massage. up and down... Anyway, it was really great. It was a super great car. Um, okay, let's talk about my sweater. Yes. It's very unusual. We're not talking about something you're wearing. I know. Is but it? it's fun. No, because well, we we're always wearing wear knitting. You guys, I didn't bring this to Montana. I don't know what was the matter with me. I <sighs> thought, I thought I had, I thought it. Maybe it was a little weather, bigger. And it was going to be yeah. like 23. So yes. why would you bring a fall yeah. wool? So this is the Sheep Camp sweater okay. knit with Candace's. This is slow burn. Yeah. 
This is slow burn. And, like trace, and, you like, know, like spin cycle, every skein is different. So some are brighter, some are more muted. Um, like it looks like the skein you've got right now is way heavier in oranges, but this is what's so great for that online, that Zoom shopping appointment. Yeah. They can show you what they have in all the skeins and you can pick the one you love the most. You get to hand pick on a Zoom session like that. Exactly this is the just you want. phenomenal. You guys. How beautiful this weather This is. was knit for me. Do you remember? I had, um. So this I, is that Harrisville yarn from I, Rhinebeck when mm -hmm. we went to Rhinebeck. And the Sheep Camp sweater. Um, I adore it. It is such a nice weight sweater. Yeah. I put this on this morning and I thought, there's everything about this sweater I love. Well, and I mean, you use wool and spun yarn, the black. It's light as a feather. So I love wearing those yeah. ones. They don't, even though it may be worsted weight or whatever it is, they don't feel super heavy. I believe. It's a plump DK, right? You, yes. You No, it's worsted, I thought. I don't remember. Somewhere in between. Plump DK or worsted, basically I mean, the same. I mean, it's a pattern, I think, is DK, but... Yeah. No, I think you're right. You can use yeah. whatever. I believe there was only two skeins needed. <laughs> Are you serious? We might as well have been outside. Like, literally, this mowing is in between our houses. It's yeah. like a six-foot patch strip of grass. Mm -hmm. It's I don't even know why he's there so long. Mm -hmm. I think he knows we're here, and he just wants to... It's like, just a minute, and start. Right. Um, but this, Jody these looks skeins of slow you. burn... Our next level, and I believe there was only two skeins needed for my size. You have to confirm with the pattern, but that's what I I think. It's that's... just phenomenal. <gasps> I love it. And boy, I love that slow burn color. Mm -hmm. Is that slow burn too? No. no. Okay. So what's all this for? I don't know. Okay, so those are the same color. Yeah. Like that's how different that can be. That's for this. I'm going to show you. Okay. I've been so watching. Exciting. Okay. So I was super lucky. I had all this drive. Jody's driving. I'm yep. knitting. I showed you guys the super simple summer sweater by Hohi Locatelli last time. And I'm using the Mungo from Retrozaria, which is... I can't, now, I can't even with the Now blower. he's just fucking with us. Totally. <laughs> um, so this is a very cool yarn. Yeah. It's... Half recycled wool, half cotton. Okay. And their little slogan here is knit better, wear longer, waste less. And that's what this yarn is all about. Recycled wool and cotton. Is there... So, oh, recycled wool, right. Yeah. So the wool waste from spinning mill is, is what they use for the wool content okay, in this yarn. That. And it's Portuguese and Spanish wool. Worsted spun? No wool yeah, spun. Yeah, no worsted, I think. Yeah, so it so is nice. half cotton, which that's pretty significant, right? Like it feels very different from knitting a wool sweater. But it, it feels wears a little sticky to, to knit with. A little bit, but only because I'm not used to knitting with cotton. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is more of a product knit. I really wanted the sweatshirty feel of this. Yes, I want. So it's only half wool. It's not going to be super um, hot. Mm -hmm. um, you got. I love it. I am loving. Loving, loving it. I am almost. You got so far. I'm. Don't say where's Waldo, even though that's sort of giving me the vibe. I think you're. Um, well, I'm gonna go as Kate plus eight for Halloween, and you're gonna go as where's Waldo. We no, can buy I one of those clip-in long. It's so funny that I don't get that with this because okay. where's Waldo is bright red and white and small. Right. Wait till I put on my hat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding you. I love it. It's, I tried it on yesterday. This is my last stripe. Oh. Because this is a lower um, separation yes. for sleeves. This is not right under my arm. This is a good couple of inches below. So I think I'm going to end up my last red stripe and then maybe a little band of ribbing. In red? In cream. Oh, in cream. Okay. Are you starting with cream? for? Are you making sure cream is on all your ribbing? No. Uh, oh. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but it might turn <gasps> out that way. Who knows? You're real close. So then, you know, put on a couple of sleeves and you're done. It's not going to take that long. What was the yarn again that you knit your first Simple Summer? It was in? Sweet Georgia's D yes. Superwash DK. Okay. And I messed up that one. Mm -hmm. I messed it up. The worst part of it was the way I miss Matt, like the front and the back. And I, 
you know, I did the shorter rib at the back because it's a split hem, which I don't, which I love. Like, look how cute that is in the split hem. Um, but I just don't feel like it doing that right now. Yeah. So that's great. I'm not going to. Um, it's great. I love it. I think this yarn is really, it, it makes a really nice fabric. And I like a wool cotton blend. And just like this, half and half. It's going to wash so It so wears. Well. It's beautiful to wear, you guys. This Some people, when they hear the word cotton, sometimes cotton has a bit of a bad rep. But some people can't knit with wool, number yeah. one. Yeah. And sometimes it can feel not as nice to knit with. Right. But this to wear, you guys, is beautiful. And I feel like people that feel like they're sensitive to wool, once you wash this, mm -hmm. it's half cotton. I don't think you're going to find it sensitive no. to wear. So nice. Um, like my swatch is so, it's so much softer. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I feel like I'm going to knit half of this red stripe and then try it on again because I may be going to the ribbing in the red. Oh, nice. I just don't want it to be too short. I don't want to chintz no. out where you're like, you quit because yeah. you're ready to be done. Do you take into account you're going to get a, a little bit of length with blocking? Well, that's the other thing, right? So I might give it a steam as well before I see. decide. Because that's something to think about how your yarn is going to behave. Because when I tried this on, it seemed like by the time I got to the bottom of the red, I would be done. I feel like even with this, because it is such a deep... Um, right. What do you call this? Like... Yoke. Yeah. Separation of Such the a sleeves. deep yoke. Um... Then this part is so much smaller, but don't be confused because yeah. you get extra you length to try it here. Because if I had a sweat, you know what I mean? Like, like just normally, make sure. Normally, if it's right up under my arm, I want like 13 to 14 inches mm -hmm. for a regular length sweater. Yeah. If I did 13 to 14 inches here, that's going to be like halfway down my bum probably. Mm -hmm. So it, when it's deep, deep yoke like that, you, yeah. you really should try it on before you're done. Excuse Which me. I love it. I just did that yesterday. Tried it on for the first time. So That's it so gives cute. me a little bit of an energizing feel because, like, you're a little bit, I'm not that far away. So, of course, I've started thinking about, hmm, what am I going to cast on next? Totally. Jody. So, um, my Saturday hat is out today, but I'll show that. Um, what were you doing up at two o'clock in the morning? Oh, I know. It wasn't two o'clock. My pattern got sent to me at two o'clock in the morning. I think that must have been weird time because it was oh, okay. twelve. Actually, twelve. Oh, okay. It was Maybe one by the time I went to sleep. It might have been Eastern. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I was like, "Wow, you're really finishing." Not Thank no. you for okay. the pattern. Okay, you're so welcome. So, um, I'm on to my next pattern. So I thought, um, what easier way to knit at a retreat when you're actually not following a pattern? Right. So this is my next one. <gasps> Jody. I showed you guys last time the colors I was knitting. This is the same pattern. I just haven't done the decreases yet. I'll do that this weekend and write the pattern. But this is in Frankie Gray Fibers um, Indigo. I love that color. For the main color. And then I have Lilac Ice, Ooh. Citron, and Stiletto. Right. For the I can't even with the color combo. Don't you think so retro? Yes. Yes. It's giving me vintage... Fun, playful vibes. You're slipping your stitches with three strands of DK this time, you guys. So this hat is not out yet. It is. This is not the new release. It cannot be more addictive. The combinations are going to be endless. You, I, yeah. It's so gorgeous, Jody. And then it has this beautiful rib that follows in the one by one here. I'm having so much fun knitting. Good. Knits. That's all I want to knit right now is, you know what I haven't done for myself? What? I haven't, good morning, Kev. I haven't been making sure I sit and relax with knitting every day. Right. I've barely knit Don't since I got home. Don't you think that's part of working from home? You need to be very good about setting boundaries for yourself. Yeah. Because it's always kind of looking at you. Your work is there. Oh, just half an hour here, yeah. just half an hour there. But and it then, never, it, then yes. it creeps up on you where you feel overwhelmed. Yeah. And the good slash trouble with doing something you love is that it never feels like a work. So you if love I'm, your work. So if I'm doing it at 9 or 10 o'clock at night when I should just, you need to put that down and you need to allow yourself an hour of just knitting. Even if it's knitting on a pattern, yeah. just knitting. 
Because right. I haven't been doing that. Right. And it's not like I'm working 18 hour days, but there have been days where it's like, you oh, just, well, just sit out on your deck. Bit. It was yeah. so nice. We had barbecue at your house on the weekend. It looked so cozy, Joad. It's so nice. That's what I, I have to put. Like even just sitting out in the backyard. Yeah. Just put put the work down. It can get done tomorrow. Right. That's kind of where I right. am with this. Get a little more knitting in. Good morning. So this is Kevin Needles at the Ready. Hey, Kevin. Oh, so nice to see you guys. But I do have more knitting to show. Okay. Just Let's not see. that I knit. Do you not oh. have any more knitting? Well, I have socks that I okay, show us. didn't. No, they're not what? here. Oh, that. Do you want me okay. just to go get them at mom's? Jeff, did Jeff get socks? No. My dad got socks. <laughs> okay, good. I Love have it. a tube set for Jeff, but I don't know when. You know what I was also thinking? This would be the time to start knitting for Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I'm going to make these for Jeff, but I don't think I'm going to give them to him. Yeah. Yet. Mm -hmm. So, that's a plan. And it's nice to know, because you came to Montana with those tubes thinking you'd really like to get them done. Yeah, I thought I could, but then I got... I love and it's okay sweaters. not to stress that you haven't gotten them done. No, I'm not stressed about it. Um... He does love socks, but these are long socks. So I, mean, I did notice the socks he was wearing the other night. Oh, those striped ones. <gasps> those were a good one. He wears, one. and I usually use Patton's Croy yarn for him, and one of the first pairs that I ever made for him are still holding up. And let me tell you, he wears these socks all the time. All so the time. So he's hard on his socks. Very hard on them. That's wears a really them in good. Shoes. Patton's Croy to me is one of those gems that is Uncut a great, gems. like it's woolly wool. You're making yeah. woolly socks. But it is very affordable, comes in tons of fun colors and even mm -hmm. self-striping. Mm -hmm. And it just is great. Like, it wears like iron. It's really, I can't think of anything bad about it. Okay. Right? Like, it's not yeah, soft yeah. No. merino, but I feel like that's not the best choice for socks either. No, because they'll just crumble yeah. under really These heavy. These natural, like, when um, yarns like Regia and stuff have to say wool, that's not marine. They're not using merino. I don't believe they're using hardier yeah. mixes of yeah. all kinds of love that. Wool. Yeah. Good morning, Star. I don't know that I said that yet. Yeah, Patton's oh, Croy. Yeah, love it. And I mean, that's from big box store. I buy mine at Michaels, but you can also lots of yarn shops will carry it. Mm -hmm. If I had a yarn shop, I would carry Patton's Croy. Let's just say that. And you can okay. also use it as like a spin cycle substitute. It's got some of those faded. Barber pulley things. I've seen people use it in patterns that call for like a color changing yarn. So, and it looks amazing, right? Yep, and it yeah, so good. Um, okay, Danielle, yes, who is a sample knitter of mine, just sent back the confluence. I said to Jody, "What is that?" Yeah. I haven't blocked it. But I wanted to show it today. I tried it on. It's amazing. So um, from Neons and Neutrals, this is the Confluent Sweater. Is this Siren Mohair? Yes. Oh, I love it. So this is a pattern by Caitlin Wanderlust Knitter. Right. And yeah. right now it can only be found in the Neons and Neutral book. Jody, it's you stunning. You use one strand of fingering. Right. I thought it was a f one strand of fingering, one strand of mohair. I have not looked at it the is. pattern. I see the mohair in there. Yeah. Through the whole thing. One strand of fingering and one strand of mohair. And it's like this raglan sweatshirty look. Yeah. But you can go all kinds of ways with your color choices. So I love to be able to marl and, and combine colors. Mm -hmm. But I also love to let one, uh, one color shine. So... Danielle knit this for me in natural undyed fingering uh -huh. with mohair for these. And then a natural um, fingering with our color siren mohair. <gasps> okay, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Look at the cute cuffs. Yes. Twisted rib with the sporty stripes. Not a balloon, but not tapered. It's kind of balloony. Very, very quick decrease right at the very end to have that little bit of a balloon. I mean, sometimes balloons go out. It's so I like cute. this. I like this. You guys wait. Oh, I should try it on. I'm going to block it properly. And, and I'll okay. wear it next time. Okay. Because it needs, she needs her moment. Well, it's phenomenal. I wish. Not I ever... love simple, classic. Who's not going to knit this? 
The mo I mean, if you don't love mohair, use Surrey. If you but or you could even marl, you know, two sock yarns. If you don't like the fluffiness, you could marl two sock yarns. Confluence. Um the only drawback to this is that I don't think it's available outside. No, you have to get it right now in the book. It's exclusive to the book. Yeah, the book only came out in like Yeah, the book is amazing April, maybe. So we encourage you to get the book. And it's a great value too for all of the patterns that you get in the book. Yeah. Um it is a beautiful stunning book for your this library. This is folded here. But it won't be too long before it's available on its no. own. So we're going to do kits. Good idea. We're going to do kits where it's natural and then just let the mohair shine. Good idea. The, the, so it's going to look like this. You can obviously make your own. But this is incredible. I love it. You yeah. could do a fade. Like you could fade the mohair. Yes. With a, like a pale color yarn or whatever. This shape and the fit of this sweater is incredible. Nice. Danielle did an amazing job. But I, I really wanted to show it. Jody, you're going to wear you're gonna wear that a lot. Don't you think? Yeah. So good. Um, kits for this will be ready probably before we go away. You could mm, also just look at the pattern and purchase the yarn before the kits are available. We do offer um, our undyed yarn at a, at a little bit reduced rate because we haven't dyed it, right? Um, in all our bases. Fingering, DK, Mohair, and Surrey, all undyed. And that's on our website. Nice, Joan. So, but we will, ha we will have... And then is this siren... Oh, this is just mohair, probably held double. double yeah. <gasps> love it. Right? Yeah, love it. Oh, I love it. It's, it's got beautiful. so many things that I love. Twisted rib, marled, and those stripy little sporty. So this could be your sweater for our get ready for winter, right? Yeah, totally. Listen, my brain won't even stop. Like, there's so many things no. I want to make. Especially after coming off a retreat where you yes. see everybody's knitting yes. that's inspiring. Yes. So okay, that's I where we're I do have at. a little bit more knitting. Though. Okay. So while we were away in Montana, our friend Hohe was in Italy having an amazing time with the Mayak, Paula, and the Mayak group. Maybe she'll invite us again after I said no. <laughs> now that we're traveling, now that I said yes, anyway, it just, I looked at that retreat and I thought, I look at that every retreat. I don't, like, wherever they are. Amazing. amazing. It looked incredible. I love that joining in community yes. and especially small groups. Yeah. I love a good yarn show where, it, you know, like, Woolen Folk and Rhinebeck and all those things are really fun. But my all-time favorite is going to a small group in a yarn every, store or every a day. small group in a yeah. retreat. Because you get some time to really hang out with people. Mm -hmm. I do love that. So Hohe designed two patterns specifically for that retreat. Um, and then workshops related to that, I guess. So anyway, when she came out with her Solare this cabled, sweater. it's in Mayak Baby Medium, it's which is like so worsted weight. I looked at it and I was like, well, I'm totally making that. Like, that screams your name. Totally. I love it. Um, it's so gorgeous. So of course, when we were at Farmer's Daughter, I bought yarn For to it. make it. Okay. Do you want to see? Yeah. Did you swatch? Did yeah. you cast on? So this, oh. oh my gosh, okay, look at this color, right? Tracy, that's such a good color for you. Okay, so this is called Union Street State of Mind, and Candace said it's a custom color. It was designed for Catherine of Brooklyn General Store. Oh, okay. So that's where the story of this is. This is their Pishkin DK, which reminds me so much of that reminisce and recollect the, recollect, the way it's so springy, the way it's twisted, but it's a heavier yarn. It's a heavy DK to light worsted. Mm -hmm. And this pattern that I hadn't read yet was worsted. Trisha just said she test knit this one. Oh, so I good. love it. I yeah. love it. So I, that's my plan. I really want to cast this on. So of course I started, I did a little swatch as soon as we got home, like the next day. Okay. Can I just say the whole retreat for most of the week? And then you come home and it's the weekend. It's Candace nice. is doing it right. Kind of nice. Um, so on that weekend, I wound up the yarn. See how tonal it is? There's a little bit of... I adore tonality Me in too. yarn. Like, But it's rich, but tonal. Sometimes it was frustrating as a dyer to get the saturation you want. And then I thought, that's also the beauty of it. It absolutely when is. When there's a little bit of inflection. Okay, this is like, you guys, it's so springy and so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I am way off gauge. 
Really? I'm using, You're never usually off I'm Hohe. using the same size needle that Hohe did. Normally, I need to go up a needle size to get her gauge. I'm a little bit tighter of a knitter than she yeah. is. But I thought, oh, I'm just going to start with the same needle and see what happens. So the pattern gauge, I think, is 19 stitches to 4 inches. Yeah. I got 16. I must have measured this thing 10 times, thinking I can't be that different. Do you have to go but up a needle? But it's just the difference in yarn. You have to go down a needle. I would have to go down a few needle sizes. And I think this That's fabric... That's not like you. This fabric is so nice the way it is. Oh, I think I would... It's nice make it just work. like that, yes. right? So then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to... I actually think going down one might not be... Oh, that's really nice. It is really nice. And then oh. also gets just tighter with cables too, right? So... Right. So I did pull out another yarn. I pulled out Cumbria. Mm. And none of these are right on gauge, but this is one stitch less. So Same this is... needle? Same needle. One stitch. Like this is 18. That's 16. I really... Look at what you did. I know. That's so smart. That That's so smart. Well, for later, it'll end up being good. Look, info. God, you're so smart. I actually love swatches. I got a whole drawer. I, I never get rid of them. I don't, I mean, I'm always going to swatch for that project at that time, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Why do I put the time and energy into labeling them? I don't know. But these are just from uh, Staples. You can get these little tags. I still yeah. stand by the, the, the notion that you would be an incredible knitting teacher well thank you yeah you're st because you're so because you're so good at explaining and showing and samples and all that well that's so nice yeah. okay Thanks, Joe. so cumbria yeah this is what i knit your birthday sweater in two years ago so how much do i love that yarn yes i don't think i love purple why did i buy purple i don't know <laughs> I think I have to trade somebody or de stash or something. That is really beautiful. This yarn is phenomenal. And it's got a mohair you, component. Yeah, I don't see it's you got, in an all over purple sweater. It's got a halo, you guys. This Cumbria yarn by the Fiber Company is oh. dreamy, swoon worthy in its own way. Like they're both so dreamy. I love them both. I'm totally stuck on the color. Was it that a I sweater going to be for Georgia? I should knit it for Georgia or de-stash it or something because yeah. she would probably... I don't think she's going to love a wooly feeling yarn. Do you want me to over dye it? I don't know what we're going to do. Okay. Thank you. And yeah. I, and you know what? I could also hold mohair with it in another color to turn, make it a totally different color. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I guess because I thought it was like a smoky purple, kind of grayish purple. And it is that. I do think it's going to look beautiful it's on you. It's gorgeous color. It's just... I also feel like it's if me, this is how you're you. thinking... You're not, it's not, no. you're not going to feel it I think you're when right. it's finished. If you're already second guessing the color while you swatch, mm -hmm. it's not what you're going to love. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do. When you live in it a shoe. It is phenomenal yarn though. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. That's not what I thought you were going to say. I got phenomenal. a new tattoo yesterday. Jody. But you can't see it because it's got the second skin and it's gross oh, right now. Oh, that's so pretty though. Wait till you see it's peony, like a traditional peonies. You're going to be a walking garden. Add the Rico dark gray rainbow sparkles. Okay, Amanda. See, I, I do feel that there's a way to make that work. I do. But the way it is for it's this pattern, so I'm going to pass. Oh, my God. The yarn's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, and Amanda's right. Add sparkles. Of course that's the solution. It's of always course the that's solution. solution. Plus mohair. Because Done. this is beautiful yarn. Okay, so this is... No. Instead of like four and three quarter stitches... For one inch, I'm getting four stitches for one inch. So that's a big difference. What size needle is that? 4.5 millimeters. Do it at four and then find your find what's what sweater. Measure your gauge and knit the sweater. Okay. I anyway, this is because Pishkin DK from the farmer's Because Jonathan, This is the color you I need to be wearing. Even with the color. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And the squish, like it's so mm -hmm. it reminds me of the recollect. It's just heavier. It is 100% Rambouillet wool, which is so soft and beautiful. So I love it. So good. I could also, I mean, it would be a great Lento. It, there's so many patterns that this gauge is at. I feel like. But I really want to knit this pattern. I want to knit this pattern. Do another swatch at four and see where you are. I think you can get the sweater you Okay, that you that's love. a good tip. Because that yarn and that color is so beautiful. It's a good one, right? Yes. And let me tell you, this yarn, 30, 
40 colors, mm -hmm. a whole wall. Mm -hmm. And of course I'm drawn to like the dirty terracotta pinky yeah. and those colors. And I was like, no, I'm going to pick something. I really, I've got a stack of sweaters like that in my cupboard, which I love and I will, I will always love it and I will keep knitting it. But I do want to add variety. Mm -hmm. That's kind of one of my goals right now. Love so. it. Love it, love it, love it. But, but I highly love both of these. I don't yes. want people to think I don't love Cumbria because that is not true. Mm hmm I love it. I just don't know where my head was at when I picked purple. It's kind of my... Was it in the same spot when you chose the brown? <laughs> you wait. No, that I know. brown sweater is going to be so I said to Tracy, good. it is going to be good. I can see you in that color. Did I you just hear the people... There was comments. Uh, something about gross beige. No. What the hell? It wasn't gross. It's just... I was more surprised than anything. But having it was said funny. that, your color choices always are outstanding so okay it's so funny that amanda said add sparkle because i've already bought sparkle to go with that brown <laughs> oh tracy it's gonna be amazing it is gonna and, be really and good. that i'm gonna say you're gonna i be wish i had it, it. anyway okay you guys hilarious. so guess what i found while i was on the retreat after we had gone to our shopping experience the first time i found a sweater that i want to knit and it's in sport slash fingering yarn and I said to Jody, "You're never gonna knit this." I fucking swatched for it. Already. She said, "Watch me." It's like <laughs> we have to go back. She said, "We have to go back to the store because I need yarn for this." It was so exciting. I did. You know when you get motivated? Yes. It's like, yes, that's what sometimes I know the, that feeling. Sometimes the yarn motivates us, and sometimes the sweater motivates. Okay, it. but this sweater, this design, is very unique. You were looking at this, going. What, what is, is that? What is that? Yes. What are they doing back there? What is that? Yeah. And it's a very wearable shape that we love, but the way it's been designed is like, what's going on there? This is called the Secret Garden um, Sweater by, hang on, hold the phone, uh, Eleanor Mortensen. Eleanor Mortensen. Now, this sweater is knit... Um, it says fingering weight, 25 stitches. I won't be at 25 stitches. I'll be more like at 23 stitches. Okay. Um, but that's doable, right? So the main, you have a main color that you see, and you see it peeking through a little bit here, and obviously here and here. You see the, the cobalt blue garden gate here, but then you notice there's this pinky color in behind. You have a third color that's kind of mimicking flowers peeking through a garden gate. It's so pretty. Now, so that's just a background color. Yes. You're it's not, in the color work. You're only ever knitting with it's two at one time. It. Like it's just the background color yes. of your gate. Yes. I have to show you one of these sweaters from one of the test knitters that I am so inspired by. And this was the reason you wanted to make it, right? Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're new to Ravelry. You want me to show you how it works? Look at this. This sweater and yarn information can be found as a project on the Secret Garden pattern page. Right. Is this not the yes, most stunning? Yes, it's gorgeous. So that hole behind the gate, you know, supposedly you're looking into blooms or whatever. Yes. So you're using a color changing or speckle or something like that as your background color just behind the gate. Now I did see some of these that were where you eliminated the the third color. You only had the main color and then the beautiful gate. That's also pretty. It's also beautiful. So here's what I I swatched and I'm going to show you. If you can see it's kind of gradiating in from your main color. You can see some So it fades? It fades in. Like stripes? I don't love it. It just depends on your color choices. So this is my so see how it's fading in and then yeah. the rest will all be, I didn't love that look for, for mine. You could also do the gray just up to here. Like, exactly. Right? Like yeah. where the body of the gate would be, not yeah. the little points. So I think when I do mine, I will have, I'll show you my colors. I, once I get into the gate, as soon as I start the gate, I'll, it'll be my third contrast and color. And it's just because yours is higher contrast. Mm -hmm. Maybe looking at that lady's sweater up close, you would see more of this. Yes. But if you did a lower contrast, exactly. you know, you're not going to notice it as much. So as soon as I found this, I think I found it on Instagram. So um, I thought this is going to be my sweater. 
So I have this as my main color. Oh, I love it. And it is Recollect. Um, it is their fingering, sporty base that Tracy sport. knit her. It's sport. so nice. You guys, it's so Plump, nice. Plump, springy. This is. Love it. This is the undyed one. I don't know what they call that. No, maybe. Let me find it. Is it mini moon? Something antler? Elk antler? I don't know. I I thought I had put the thing in here. You're going to be able to find it no problem on Farmer's Daughter Fiber, but this is like the undyed color. So, and then this. Is this the lighter one? Yeah. Reminisce or Recollect? It is Recollect. Is that the lighter one? Gosh, I wish... I couldn't find my yarn band this morning. Um, go. This one is like a really deep. Do you think it's natural? Called natural? Yes. I do. Okay. It's, then there's also, that's I think it. it's this one. Love me like you used that's to. That's it. Sorry. Love me like you used to. It's real close to the natural. Yeah. So this is the lighter base. This is the reminisce. So there's okay. a white base and a gray base. That one that I showed that was natural was darker than this, but that's because it was on the gray base. So this is natural as well. I don't know. It's called Love Me Like You okay. Used To. So maybe it's Very, dyed. very light. So, so this is going to be my main color. And then this is my gate color. It's called... They actually have... That's natural. It's white, white. Oh, wow. They did. So that base is much... Yeah. So this is dyed. This is... I've got Dreams to Remember. There's it, also Many Moons, but I don't think that's it. so... Ooh, I love that one. It's kind of, I don't know, showing maybe purple, but it's real, like, deep, deep navy. And then I actually got Ooh, this, that, which Jody. is even tied. No, that can't yeah. be it, because this is Dream State. You got Ghost Ranch. I got Ghost Ranch. Listen, Linda, we've been through <laughs> the spin cycle ringer. There was... It's awesome. Farmer's Daughter's got this wall of spin cycle. So you can pretty much get whatever color you want. Ultimately, the color I did get, I adore. It's just not for this project. Right. I thought I brought one. What's that? Is that even tied? This is Ghost Ranch. But this is for another project. Okay. Um, so we're all going to be very surprised to see what you actually are going to use. It should be coming this week. I okay. ordered another color of spin cycle. And I'll show you. It's a little bit... Garden Gate? Is that what this is called? Garden Gate. The sweater? Yes. Yeah, Garden, Garden Gate. Gate is the sweater. The trouble with what I got for this exact project, there was too many spots in it with the um, for, um, Ghost Ranch that had the dark color. Right. And then you're going to lo lose the the, yeah. the gate. Why do right? the color work if you can't so see it? So I ordered it? some that were much lighter in color. Okay. So you're going to get the gate through it. So that's Okay, that's exciting. So I swatched, so I know what I'm getting. So you've got your gauge and now you just color. Pick my sweater. Is yeah. that your next cast on? Yes. I mean, I it'll take so. a while to knit up. Yeah. I feel like as much as the weather is warm now and I would love to knit more t-shirts and stuff, Fall is around the corner. I need mm. to crank out a couple of, and I really want to knit this sweater by Hohe. I actually looked at the pattern, and there is a size in here that would work for this gauge for me. I might just cast on. I would absolutely at this do that. gauge. Yes, um, I love it because I love the fabric it's made. Yeah, me too. I just want to cast on because I'm so inspired by um, the pattern and the yarn. And I mean, there's quite a bit of knitting before you get to your gate, right? You might as well just you guys, get going. This is what I did since I've been home. That's it. Well, you hosted a dinner. You worked. No, I know. But still, no. I just want to get back to knitting. Yeah. Let's just knit. Well, it's almost July. We have one more podcast before summer break. And that's great. I feel like everybody's ready for it. Um, I was almost tempted to cast on the t-shirt for, um, Caitlin Hunter. Oh, geez. Caitlin Hunter's Alpine Bloom is out today. So, I've been waiting for it. Hello. Yeah. Um, again, one I'd like to knit, but I, th I think I would like to knit it <gasps> oh, as a wind, like a long sleeve. Yeah. It's a fingering weight sweater at 24 stitches. Now, don't let that scare you. I'm going to probably get want to hit somewhere closer to maybe a 22, 21 stitch. Well, and honestly, I knit my 
Miserina, which is same designer, I believe, very similar gauge, same thing. I knit it, I knit it big, um, no, I just knit it with fatter yarn, but it was pretty close to the gauge. So my four this point. This is not as loose as the Miserina gauge. No. Sorry to interrupt. My 4.5 millimeter DK gauge is 22 stitches. Okay. And this so, is 24? 24 stitches. So I would be happy to knit this, you guys, with one of my Dream State skeins and a DK. <gasps> So this is designed in our friend Rochelle Moondrake yeah. yarn. This is her beautiful fingering weight base that is a silk blend, merino silk Raimi. It's her Pika Pika. That's mm. the blue. Beautiful. And then the color work there is one of, is, she's got actually two Spin Cycle custom colors. This is her first one, which, lucky me, picked up at Rhinebeck. Nice. So I do have that color. I love. It's beautiful. I love it. Mm. I mean, as much and honestly, I would just want long sleeves. I would still do the little lace cuff, but it would just be. Long. I think I would omit the. I would just do the lace cuff. Isn't me. Well, we'll see. I definitely love the um, lace up here. And then some. Some did a really heavy lace ribbing at the bottom. Right, and her the pattern lace. is just a few rounds of ribbing, not yeah. lace. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Oh, excuse me. I really love the neckline. Mm. And you're right. Maybe I wouldn't do the lace. For a long sleeve, but maybe I, I could see you doing the lace. Maybe I would. I love it. I've I been waiting for this, it. so I feel like I should cast this on. But let me tell you, fingering weight—it's going to take a while. Which one? This. I would do it in DK. I would think it would be great. But whatevs. I have some really nice, like Jameson and Smith, in a dusty pinky color. I don't know. I think I could make it work. And I saw lots of the um, testers that did not use color changing yarn. I and almost, it was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, the color I can't wait. My face broke out. <laughs> Doug, I love her. Um, I almost phoned you when I found when I realized the Ghost Ranch wasn't going to work for this, and I thought surely Tracy might have two skeins of. Jody, I'm not kidding Spin you. Spin cycle, I gotta, but I could have shopped your just stash. Just a second. You know what else, you guys, is out today that I wanted to swing back because I showed you this when it was in test, and now it is available. The floral pullover. I will. Um, I this one, Tracy. Oh yay! I love that. That's I am. So cute. I am going to have a sample knit. I'm. <laughs> I'm going to hold this up in just a sec. But look at this, you guys. It's a DK sweater. It's mohair, and I believe fingering. It's incredible. So I'm gonna have. Okay, that is super cute. With the one of these days, I'm gonna sit on the shitty chair and break it. I love this little split. Yes. And I love the color combo. Right. Like that fun. So this is out. I'm gonna have a sample for the shop knit, and then we'll have um, kits. I can't kit all this stuff before I leave, but hopefully I can like get a few can, together. People can even just look because you have yeah. lots of mohair, lots of yeah. fingering. Tracy, okay, or whatever look. It is. This is called Dead Reckoning. Yeah. I <gasps> don't even, I don't want to tell, I don't want to confess my sins to you, but Jody, I feel like that would work and you're more than welcome to have it. Look at that. Take it home and swatch. I'll just take it home and look. Okay. Good. Tracy, this is so beautiful. Do you only need two? How many do you need? I yeah, have more. Two. Thank you. What was my plan? <gasps> oh, it's that's a good one. Really pretty, and it's that aqua blue, Jody. That right. is so good. So you'll with you. see the gate one hundred. Listen, the Ghost Ranch is stunning. Yeah, but too much dark. And I also think it might be a, la a lower contrast at the if you were going to fade it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, then you wouldn't get that striping not that effect. Have, not but, that you have to fade it. But I didn't love that about this. So what was this tealy blue? Just a random, that was one of my skeins that I bought that I didn't, bought the wrong weight. So it was, it That's was a spin cycle. Spin cycle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway. Let me tell you, the sport works with this DK. The sport works with, the sport works my miserina was that, this yarn and the spin cycle in the dyed in the wool. Yeah. So. Love it. Love it. Um, okay, good. Yay. Please use it. 
make me feel really Thank good. You. <laughs> it make me feel really good. Thank you. I love it. So there, that's kind of, so I don't know. I really want a knit hohi sweater and this is worsted weight. Is it really? Yes. You guys could do DK and a mohair. I already bought yarn. You know how when you buy yarn and you just really want to use that yarn? I would do that. Plus, I love this. Yeah. So Because that is a worsted base. Yeah. Well, it's not. Light. They call it heavy DK light worsted. So I thought for sure it was going to be like no-brainer, easy to match gauge. Um, I was really shocked. I kept counting it. 16? Really? Just a minute. Apparently, I'm a count. very relaxed knitter and loosey-goosey. That's all. Okay, I love it. Um, yeah. Jordan's making bracelets. Look, she made me a... Oh, my gosh. How nice is J. that? That pink is so pretty. A J. Who would have thought Jordan would make bracelets? Who knew? She's got unlocked her creativity with the yarn dye. I feel and like stuff. that. Um, I did... We brought home a giveaway for our... I mean, we love it when we go away and bring home something for you guys. So we were going to do a giveaway... And I wanted to share this pattern anyway. This is the Asukanaki Cowl by Candace English. And it is a pattern where 100% of the proceeds go to Sisters United. And you can go to sistersunitedmt.org to read all about it. Um, about their fundraising for Sisters United. Right. It's great. Um but this cowl she designed, it's so, again, slip stitches with a color-changing yarn in the background, but it's lined with Surrey Alpaca. So it's really fun knit. So I'm actually going to make one for myself. Why did I not buy? This, oh. is, this is the Sukopi base, which is a single-ply Rambouillet and O. Oh, it's beautiful. Man. I was going to say, oh, dang. But that's what this is. Oh, dang is the Surrey Alpaca. This is the color Oh, I just moons. got that. Is that what it's called? Oh, dang. I guess. Because it's like you feel it. Like, oh, dang. That soft. I actually would, was thinking maybe it was a word, an indigenous word, maybe. I feel so silly now that I was thinking. I didn't well, even ask. Maybe I'm not right. Uh, but, Su but oh, dang Su makes Copy, sense. Sue Copy is like a beautiful... This is another yeah. yarn that would make a phenomenal sweater. So we are going to add, Jody has made these awesome mini skein fade sets. Yes. So she's going to pick, so for Frankie Gray Fibers, your background color will be. We'll pick it today. I'm going to show you. I have brought all fade. the fades with me. Okay, good. Yeah. So, so but we're going to have choose. this as a giveaway on Instagram. You can follow Candace and follow Frankie Gray and follow Sisters United, but you can purchase this pattern to support Sisters United anytime. Yeah. It is on Ravelry. It will take you to a link to their website to purchase it. I purchased it myself. I believe you can purchase the printed patterns through the website at Farmer's Daughter Fiber. I think so, too. So this beautiful printed copy was in the shop. So yeah. I thought, you know, I'm going to send you the printed copy. Um, I do love buying a printed copy if I see it. Me, too. Me too. It's glossy. It's There's sick. actually a DK version of this as well. Oh, you're nice. So there are two versions of this pattern. I love that. Um, but the yarn is just so phenomenal, and the organization it supports is so important. Um, and I encourage you to go read all about that. Um, it's a great endeavor that they've undertaken, and it's it's fairly young. I love that. This is a 2020 pattern. So again, I'm going to knit myself. This would be a super fun summer project. Love it. Right? Love Small, it, it, portable. It. Take it on the road if you're going camping or whatever. I found another sweater I thought I wanted to knit. Oh, dang. Now I dang, feel silly. That's soft. <laughs> well, I might be wrong. No, no. I'm but sure. Fiona said she's knit like 10 of these or more. She said she just keeps knitting them. They're such a good... And you can pick all these different colors. And you can make it scrappy. Yeah. It's one of those great patterns. <sighs> Pardon me. You might have heard of a little designer <gasps> Jody. called Andrea Mowry. That's the one I've been wanting to knit since that year. I feel like I want to cast this on today. Oh, it's a good one. Illuminate. Now, this was a Rhinebeck sweater. Hear me out. I was thinking. It's fingering, FYI. Okay, but here's the thing. <laughs> what about. But Linda. What about the sport? Yeah. And my ghost ranch. Totally. Right? Yes. So. 
I was. I love examples of a twist because not everybody wants to knit a fingering weight. I think it's fingering weight and then mohair held double is the contrast. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it is. I haven't looked at that one for a while, but I love the graphic stripes. I love the kind of modern looking color work. I do love mohair. I would totally knit that. But Isn't I think the so contrast good? color in, um, you know, if you went from DK and used Dream State Joad, it would be phenomenal. Well, I had thought that I don't think I have enough, so I should buy more. But um, what about that, that all that Slippery spin slope. cycle from last time that I thought I was buying yeah. a different weight? How I could, many did you get? And five? I, mean, I would just you yeah, you're going to have tons. And just when it's done, it's done. You yeah. might not even, do you know what I mean? If you had three less stripes on the sleeves and the body, yeah. I think that would still be really nice I with a color too. block. So you could totally make that work. Mm. Love it. And a round yoke sweater is very easy to, I think, modify, like as far as splitting for the sleeves at the right time and all that stuff, I think you can knit it at a bigger gauge very successfully. I think... Here's the trouble, though. I have two color work sweaters I really want to cast on. Plus, I want to cast on something for our crochet granny square. Right. Hot granny square summer. I have that giveaway, too, this week. That was all those balls of that granny square yarn from <gasps> Crafty nice. Jackalo. Yeah. We're going to have a couple good giveaways. Go to Ravelry. We did our Pender Island retreat giveaway. And how about this? Jackie is the winner. Pulled it yesterday. Notified her on Ravelry. Uh, she lives in Victoria. She is a very short ferry ride away from Pender Island. Really? She said it's really so close, but so far away. Like, they yeah. just never go. Um, and she said she is thrilled and will make such good use of all the goodies. So, okay, good. Yeah, so we'll maybe do the Granny Square give along in Ravelry. Okay. And this other one on Instagram this weekend. Does that sound good? I love it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm just like. I love. So whatever you choose, Joe, first of all, you've already just inspired people that may not have I don't think I was inspired by the that yarn. garden gate pattern I had never seen so I love that you're sharing one that maybe I love it yeah give it its moment it's new there's it's brand so new it came out in May there's so many people that love a good color work sweater yeah. and I, I'm one of them and that illuminate has been calling my name and sheep camp since they both came out oh. yeah Maybe you guys want to cast on an Illuminate, and that's what I'll cast on through the summer so I can have it in the, in the fall. Yeah. 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 I love the idea of both of it, like whether you use this color-changing yarn or yeah. the mohair. I feel like I would go mohair. My dog has vaginitis. Gross. How does that happen? An oversized labia. And it's not gross. <laughs> it just is what it is. <laughs> It's gross when you got to put cream. I was going to say, what's the treatment? Cream on your dog's oversized swollen labia. Ew. How about this? Um, <laughs> Jeff was saying the other morning, he goes, Ozzy stalks at, uh, Ellie in the morning when they're out in the backyard. Is she like this? He for said, the poo? Yeah. He's waiting for her to take a dump so he can have a snack. Get a dog, they said. <laughs> There you go. There's the classy moment of the... the and we're back. Right. You guys thought we were, have, like, all together. No. Okay, and we're back. So, I don't know what's going on with our dogs, but ew. <laughs> uh, to both of those. Poor, poor dog. You have to have cream? Did they just give her pills? <laughs> Here's the thing. It's been happening. Spray? It's been happening for, like, nine months. Oh, she loves it when I put the gloves on. You wonder? <laughs> She's running with her tail underneath. <laughs> Like, ah, she's doing it again. And it's a giant dog. Like, it's not like right. where Ellie's nine pounds. I can pin her down you pretty easy. You should see Jordan and I trying to hold her down to put cream on her labia. I want Maddie to film that because that would it's be so the video funny. that I would go to anytime you're having a bad day. Jody giving her dog her vaginal cream would, would be, <laughs> I think it would go viral on TikTok. And I feel like you guys should so now, pursue that. Now it's happened like six, like she's been on like, antibiotics like for the last six months so once a yeast month infection no it's like her literally it's her labia is a like it folds over like she's got get she labiaplasty surgery i'm not surgery. kidding she will be having labia surgery wow is there like a two for one going on for that? <laughs> said, can, you do like a <laughs> can you go in the next room i just need a little extra <laughs> tightening anyway oh my word okay 
That's hilarious. That made my day right there. Mm -hmm. um, poor puppy. It's though. true, you poor guys. Puppy, like if it's itchy, like you gotta have some sympathy. Vaginitis is no joke. Yeah. All the people out there laughing. You should just be ashamed of yourself. How would you like to be itchy twenty four seven? Oh, torture! Right? Torture! Oh my god! Anyway, that is. That's what I'm dealing with on top of my. That is a classic. Yeah. Um. Okay. I wanted to show. What do you have? What's a, what's the moment here? What's going on? Are we knitting? Are we talking about things we bought slash brought yeah. home? Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, we got the coolest loot bag. At a, I mean, don't you just oh. love? A, so this was. I didn't put mine in my bag. Swag bag. Big Sky Retreat swag bag. Um. Oh, also, this morning I'm brushing my teeth and Candace is live on her YouTube channel this morning, mm. eight o'clock in the morning. So I That's got to early. tune in. I know, right? She's got it together to do that by 8 a.m. She wanted to ramp it up and go like a specific time. I love that. Follow her on YouTube too. Yes, Great follow videos. the Farmer's Daughter Fibers everywhere. Mm -hmm. But she, I said to her, you always look like you're having so much fun and you're by yourself. Like she's just loving what she's sharing and in the shop and personal little story. I love her videos. She's very well spoken. Very nice to listen to. Oh, she's... Yeah, she's a really great person. Yeah. And I do love um is Jordan Jordan's here, I think. Jordan's here? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it's like who Listen, draws? It's like did rock, you, paper, scissors. Why Disney. did you have kids if you can't just make them do the oh, crappy jobs? And two giant piles like they is ate it a their, giant tube of cream. They ate your their dinner last night and walked three steps and barfed. So but apparently it's very relaxing to own pets. Uh-huh. Poor mm. dog. How about poor mom that's got to put the cream on? <laughs> Again, I suggest Actually, you make I, the kids Truth do be it. told, Jordan's done more creaming than I have. Creaming? <laughs> it's a verb now. <laughs> Ew. Uh, anyway, so we all got this adorable little yeah. project bag. Pockets on the inside and out. Those and are for sale. These you can site. buy on the Farmer's yeah. Daughter site in two sizes. Oh, so I, I love it. One. I yeah. am a giant fan of a squishy drawstring bag. So mm. I'm totally going to use this. I also just love the graphic fabrics they've chosen. And this is a local Montana maker. Aren't they cute bags? Yeah, super cute bags. Yeah. And very soft cotton. Like I almost think, wouldn't it be cool to make a quilt with yeah. this kind of stuff? And then we got all the goodies in it. And here's something It was I'd full. Bulging. Couldn't close. Like your dogs. Maybe. <laughs> um, okay, I did not know this. These are also things you can get in the Farmer's Daughter Shop on their website. Candace's mom makes botanical creams, lotions, potions. She's been doing it forever. And when Candace said, you know, she's studied this in school, mm -hmm. all these beautiful, so this, this is the, um, so it's Red Root is the name of the company. It is ha all handmade, all hand blended with botanical items. Mm. This is the cream that I use every single day. And oh. it is so rich and so beautiful. It what smells. What is the scent? It's cucumber. I was going to say it's so fresh. It's so fresh. But let me tell you, I have really dry, yucky hands my hands are always dry oh, that's um nice. this stuff is a rich beautiful hand cream and it lasts <gasps> jody i not love greasy it. not greasy and when we were on our way down i showed jody this disgusting spider bite that i got on the top of my foot when i was wearing my sandals so itchy talk about driving you crazy itchy um they have a bug bite medicine okay. you put that on your it foot it worked Listen, there's all kinds of, botanical things are magical. It's all from mm. nature. You don't need all the chemical stuff. This is much better for you to use this sort of thing. Um, so, but smell. these are in the loop bag, let me tell you. Works like heck. And the um, smells incredible. Red Root, Candace's mom, also makes bug deterrent, like spray and cream, which also smells amazing. So when I and went back to the shop, I bought some. It worked. Because we sat outside, there was a lot of mosquitoes in uh, Montana. Montana, very big mosquitoes. Yes. And aggressive, hungry mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is like sage, yarrow, um, husk tea tree, neem oil, willow bark, vitamin E, grapeseed. So fabulous and totally works. So I love that. 
What a cra- what a creative family. Do you know I like is Look, this now we have a sticker. Do you call this like holistic? Natural pack. Natural pack. Sure, holistic maybe. The smells and the scents, and I believe all of this stuff from the earth is so healing yeah. and so good for you. The smell is next level, you guys. It is. Oh, I mean, and listen, wasn't there... on all fronts, I want to yeah. support women-owned businesses and all this beautiful history that this is mm-hmm. a family thing with this mm-hmm. uh, company. Um, hand-picked, blended, packaged by Native women. I so you can't see the difference. But it works like heck. So beautiful. So I actually bought some of this as a gift for someone when I went back because I was loving it myself so much. Mm-hmm. I think when I said the L word, it might have brought some weirdos. Like, my milkshake brings other boys to the yard. Right. <laughs> nice, Jody. Anyway. Uh, it's really beautiful. Her <laughs> mom has it. <laughs> Can you imagine the algorithm? No. Knitting, 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 yarn, yarn, yarn. Labia. <laughs> Oops. Milkshakes. Oops. Um, her mom has got this all over in <gasps> lots of shops. Like, this yeah. woman, this woman oh, yeah. is knows her stuff it's beautiful anyway it was yeah. such a treat and mm-hmm. so beautiful and how about this so this also was in the loot bag this beautiful mm-hmm. linen um or those what do you call that this is my favorite kind of tea towel that kind of sack. sour sack stuff and it's by intrigue inc.com hand printed montana made women owned canis is amazing at supporting companies like that but here's the thing yeah I, when I travel, when I go on holidays, one of my weird quirks is I always bring home a tea towel. There's always... It's funny that actually... Like, you, people yes. bring home pins. Remember, mom used to collect those spoons? Always. I have tea towels from everywhere. Scotland and Amsterdam and Hawaii. Like, anywhere we go, I grab a tea towel. So this is so perfect and I love it. I was like, oh, a tea towel! It I really is. It. So this will go into the rotation for all the dishwashing that happens at home. I was going to say that my husband does, but I'm the cooker. He's the cleaner. Do you know what I'm so bummed about? You can't about, talk you about that. No, I'm not. Well, you can share. So You not. know what I'm so bummed about? I bought special earrings. <gasps> you didn't bring them? Well, I unpacked them out of my... I have all my Montana purchases in a bag, and I must have left it on the counter. Okay, this is these are made in South America, hand beaded. It's a fair trade product. I actually left my tag that they came on up there, but oh my God. if you go to the Farmer's Daughter website, they have these. She put them, sign up for her newsletter. Yeah. She had them in the newsletter, and people loved them, and they sold out. So they just got a restock when we were there. She was unpacking them. And I really loved these ones that included a bit of metal. I should probably take this off and share it with you. I'm actually going to bring up her website because I want to say Mayana, M A Y A. The ones that I got. These are the ones that I got, but there were so many. But look at that color combo. I totally want to make a sweater in those colors. Actually, you were wearing your Miserina. It was like it was like they made okay, it for so you. Okay, so my, you know, Cecilia of SeaWorld and Sage has got me totally hooked on beaded earrings. Um, I love them. And these are not too, too big, but I really also loved the, that they were with this pounded metal. So they're very light. Okay. Yeah. Mayana Design Co. And they have different sizes, different shapes. There was those really cool ones that Candace had on that looked like a half star and they they were opposite anyway they were really groovy and really cool and that's I, what i mean i'm trying to find that where did you see mayana right I'm right there yeah okay Wait. so you can and some of them look woven some of them are beaded i'm gonna just show you an example of another one of the styles it's, can you show the star ones i'm going to those are the ones i got i'm so bummed you got those f- flat yeah look at that you got the ones like Candace was wearing? Yes. You did. Because they matched my yarn. Don't you love that? So there's ones that are like heavier metal. There's ones more beaded. But let me just show you. These are There were many different styles. All I did was search earrings. I mean, on their good website. luck with the sharing. Or yeah. You got those? Exact ones. The way these They're hang, super pretty. The earring is up here. 
So it literally it hangs, but it like kind of like it's also bendy. So that it, one? it's like it hangs on your. It's so beautiful. I thought I brought them. Denise said, "Start over." What what has she missed? Okay, Denise. You're Hi light. everybody. You're late. Anyway, um, beautiful. That's what I mean about it was more than a yarn shop. It was a gift. There was a big yeah. gift portion there. Mm -hmm. And really cute glasses, but they were glass glass. And I just thought, oh, I'm never going to. I won't get it home. But I and love them. They had the little wooden lids with the glass so, draw. I mean, I loved those. Do you know what Candace graciously offered every all 35 of us knitters? A discount, first of all, when we were shopping. Right. But then if you want me to ship your yarn home so you don't have to pack it, leave it here with us after I we purchase. I don't know why I did not take and advantage of that. free shipping. Yeah. She didn't charge complimentary yeah. shipping anywhere yeah. you were living. Yeah. She's an yeah. awesome person. So generous. Um, but I really, oh my gosh. But the thing I love about these things we're sharing is you guys can go to their website and get That's your That's why we're excited to show yeah. you guys because yeah. we could bring them home. These amazing things we found okay, how and about share. This? Montana coffee. Yeah. Roasted in whitefish. I think it said. How cool is that? And a cute little journal. Love to it. To write all my knitting things in. They had tarot card decks, which I love. But I don't know anything about them. I don't either. But there was some really beautiful, and there were some books. Let me tell you, if I lived in Great Falls, they would not be able to get rid of me. Did you bring your yarn that we're not allowed to name but talk yeah, about? Okay, okay, good. So, you know, Kelly, I'm going to show you guys some samples of from my beautiful sample knitters. But Kelly, do you guys remember when I showed this? This is the Frankenbean oh. Cowl, yes. and Kelly knit it with um, a La Bien -Ami, um contrast in the back, and then she striped Frankie Gray colors. So she used the speckle consistently as the contrast color. And it's funny because I had forgotten, I gifted her this La Bien -Ami yarn. Aw. She's so sweet. She's much nicer than we are, Jody. Way. Okay, so. But isn't that pretty? This it's is absolutely gorgeous. Frank. That color palette is so, so cool. So this is this could be done with minis. Yes. Right. Hold them double. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a DK weight held double. Right. Okay, DK minis held double. Yeah. Love that. I'm just. Is this your stash? Well, this is. I'm. Everything you brought back? Yeah. Everything oh. was in my. I just threw it in my. You got a lot. Okay, judging. No, I'm just judger. kidding. <laughs> That's okay. I can handle it. You can judge me. Okay. You're not wrong. Let's see. Show okay. us. Uh, so when we when we were going, yes. before we left, I said to myself, I want to buy Bear Paw Sock. That mm -hmm. was the thing I had in my mind. I didn't really have a sweater to plan. Had you never tried? No. And I, it's, I don't know if it's a newer base for them, mm -hmm. but... Andrea Maori designed socks in it where you hold sink fingering weight double, like you marl. So they're quite heavy socks. So they'd go real quick. And so I thought, wouldn't that be fun to get a couple of skeins of that? And so I did. This is Bear mm. Paw Sock, which is a yak merino nylon base. So 20% yak, 10% nylon, 70% superwash merino. I know. I know. I think I love this color, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to... Do I don't know, know. Do you know what would soften it to something smoke? Just a, a gray medium mohair? gray mohair. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to do that because that would be. The then it would unbelievable. Yeah, I think th I think this this might I think need I'm a someone moment. Someone that wants to love that purple. The mauve is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So this is the color bitter root, and this is the color clay dreaming. And I think if I choose to marl them, they will look phenomenal. You'll get an incredible color. Yeah. Kind of neutral, mm -hmm. not too wild, but also if I choose to knit them individually, mm -hmm. I love them both. Mm -hmm. And and it would show great texture. So those are really fun. That was something that I had planned before we left. That's really beautiful. And then everything else, <clears throat> off the rails. Totally. Not a plan. No. But so happy. So what I did, I did choose something um, in the new base. Um, we won't talk much about Is it. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. This is the one of the colors I chose. Can you believe it? I don't even know what you're talking about. What do you I you have to tell me later what you're what's going on here. I just cast on a hat. 
So you just bought it to knit whatever. Yeah, not, I really, you didn't have an idea. I really wanted to knit with it. And once I, okay, so here's what happened. I bought one skein. Okay, here's. Okay, so this is Ghost Ranch. Hard to believe. It's Held very double. green. Mine had no green. Mine had no green in my skeins. Ghost Ranch. Wow. Right. And I even twisted off some green. So Ghost Ranch, and that's how I picked this color to go with it. Mm. And I, I'm holding, this is a fingering weight yarn that I'm holding double. Okay. After I did just this very Gosh, small little color. bit of knitting, I messaged Sarah from Farber's, at Farmer's Daughter Fiber if I could get two more skeins. Okay. They're on their way. Because Yippee. it's that amazing to knit with okay i can't wait to talk about it i feel it. like For reals. oh my gosh yeah you're right this is gonna be very cryptic but so this is dream state which is their worsted and i'm gonna do this fingering held double so it'll go really great T great together wait it's gonna be amazing tbd yeah. beautiful things coming um so like i said all of these farmer daughters people were knitting this sweater that has not come out yet it's coming out next month we don't have much longer to wait soon but I fell in love with that. And we were, the designer said, yes, you guys can ha share the yarn. Or the yarn company said, yes, you can share the yarn with your retreat. We're the first people ever. I got to buy the yarn. So what? Um, and the designer said, sure, you can share the yardage. So we were able to purchase yarn for our size for this project before actually having the pattern. Mm -hmm. So it was very hard. Like it took me a good half hour. It really did. You changed several times. Because it was combining three things. Yes. So the pattern in, included a, um, a color changing yarn, which is this is spin cycle dyed in the wool in the Mississippi Marsala color. But this is like the shyest, palest Mississippi Marsala. I've had it much oranger, much more higher contrast. But I thought this was great. Um, this is the... Oh my God, what color is this? This is my main color, and this is their Willow Creek, is this color. It's kind of brown, kind of terracotta, kind of purple, but still kind of neutral. Yeah. So I love it. And then the third color, you needed something fuzzy. And so I picked this coral. Oh, dang. But this is a one of a kind color. This is a speckled. They do have a coral that's mm -hmm. this color i like the little bit of variegation in that I you're gonna get second guess myself maybe, don't maybe i should have gone no so imagine Once. these together i honestly i would love to be able to cast on the ribbing for the bottom of this so i but i do have a sweater to finish i've got would another. you be would you have that knit up, uh, on the needles i i would be very tempted swatched. to just you would have swatched for sure for yeah. sure so this is actually something to look forward to. I mm. love the combination of color changing and a little bit of something fuzzy. This is like my jam. So I'm very excited I'm about this. I'm predicting this to be a very popular pattern from this designer for this summer. I, knitting. yeah. Yeah. You can put money on that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be. I predict it's right. going to be a good one. This is a little out, out of left field, but I think this designer <laughs> might have come on to something. This it's up and comer beautiful. that we've never heard of before. It was really amazing seeing, and let me tell you, there was a lot of the knitters that purchased yarn for this next knit. Oh, they and the combinations were amazing. Yes, and I I almost wish I had just let somebody else pick for me, but I I don't know. I could have gone either lots of ways, and this green that you picked, like one of the greens, was calling my name and. Then I had like a natural and a higher contrast. Like it was just, there's so many ways to do this. And the pattern is perfect for scrappy, mm -hmm. right? People don't mm -hmm. have to invest. You can use, absolutely use your stash mm -hmm. with this one. Mm -hmm. So hurry up. Let's get this mm -hmm. thing released. It's in test knit. So you could reach out and say, I'd love oh. to test knit it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> She'd be like, uh huh. No, it's okay. I'm not really. No, it's that good. That the, let, let me just say, it's that good. I'm not good. ready to put it on. Yeah. I'm going to be a big girl, and I'm going to wait Yeah, properly. That's right. But. Um, I just have my hats to show. Yay, bring but it I, on. But I'm going to show just a couple, because then I'm going to show a couple when I'm showing the fades at the end. 
Um, okay, I'm just gonna drink coffee, Jody. This. <gasps> one, okay, so this oh, was knit thing. by Melissa, who is um, from Airdrie. Oh yes. I sent Melissa yarn. Um, she knit the pattern. She sent it back. So this is moss. This is Frankie Gray fiber moss with hibiscus as the contrast. Gee, that moss is amazing. I mean, they both are. But don't I'm you really, love pink yeah. and green? I'm having a green moment. I don't know. I know. This is Jordan's combo pick. Pretty. I thought it was really pretty. This. Oh, that's amazing. Is that Bar Barbie Girl? This is Barbie Girl with lavender ice. Is that Barbie Girl? Uh. No, lilac ice. I always say lavender because that's the dye color we're using, but it's lilac ice. But so look pretty. at that. You know, I get inspiration when I'm pulling yarn, too, for customers. Yes. They'll chew. And I said, Jordan, take a picture of that. So that's I think that's so what true. this one came of that. So that's that. Oh, this one was also knit. I think this was Kelly, if memory serves. This is Mulberry and Lucky Lavender. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, super, super pretty. Jody, your hat is beautiful. So this is... Did you say? Oh, this is my Saturday hat. I have no more days of the week. It's brand new. Just out today. Yeah. Um, now, I will tell you with these kits, again, you will get a free pattern if that's what you'd like. Um, or it's available on Ravelry. I'll have it on my website yeah. later. I just you didn't get to it. You want a stash bust? You know, guys, what if you did each one of these lines a different color? Yeah. I'm going to show you some fades that we did. This can be an absolute stash buster. You need a, less than 50 grams of the main color. Really? Yeah, because it's held single. Wow. Yeah. For That's the large, awesome. I'm, for the large, my pattern knit was like 48 point something. I always add a bit. So yeah. if you're on gauge, it'll be less than 50 grams. Right. And if you want to knit a large and a medium, yeah. a skein should do it. I did also add this time um, a child and a toddler size. Right. So I've got five sizes on the pattern. Okay, so there's that. And then this is the one I originally showed. It's hibiscus and on the vine. Um, there are kits, so but I'll talk about those after. I love it. Don't you love it? I feel like just like socks, hats are a way you can be really bold. Yeah. And it doesn't really, like, it's fun way to add a pop. For me, you guys, if you want a little bit of a slouch, just knit the large repeats. Right? Okay. Even Some if you're knitting a like, medium hat, knit yeah. it longer. And then it's got a little bit of a paper bag style, like a little bit of a quick decrease. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think I just figured something out. This is the medium size, you guys, that I knit. So very just, nice Just beanies. to the pattern. Yeah. Just a little bit of positive ease at the top. Not much. But then if you wanted the same fit, just longer, knit the drink decreases for the bigger size. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Okay. This was really fun to knit. I'll just show you the other ones after. Yeah? After what? Oh, just a minute. Okay, this one makes me... Show oh, it. Oh, my God. So, I love... Pink and gold for the win. Always for me. Kelly knit this. This is... Um, Lollipop. Is it lollipop? It looks like lollipop. It's lollipop and ochre. Okay. Um, and it is mohair held with fingering. Um, yeah. both for both colors or um, just the main color? Right? No, both. It's beautiful. Both. Okay. Imagine illuminate. Are you serious with that? Oh. <laughs> Our oh hibiscus. Thank you, Kel. Hibiscus, are you kidding me with this? But yellow and gold are such a good combination. I like will never ochre. forget whose pat cowl pattern that was that gold and hot pink. Gold and hot pink. Remember we were in Vancouver, Hohe and Vera. Vera's. Oh, Vera's brioche one. Yes. <gasps> so good. And there was a coral in there too. That's what I mean. That hot coral. So, okay. Ochre. And a goldy ochre. That's ochre, our color. But so you can like, I love when people. I mean, it's high contrast, but I yeah. just think ochre would be such a good sweater. Stop dying so many nice colors, Jody. I have some new colors to show today. Oh my as well. god, I can't wait. And then this is, I, you know what? I think I'm getting one of these wrong. This is Shelly. This is Shelly in one of the fades, but this is um, that's the smoke ice. show. 
Oh, smoke. Smo Shok Smo and Lemony Limey. Neutral with a pop. This is a small. Neutral and neon. This is the smaller size, right? Like Some people. No, this is the adult small, okay. and then there's a um, a one smaller, and then a, a even smaller. But the, Jody, the love it. The combinations are endless. Yeah, I haven't been this excited about a pattern in a while. So I was. Well, it's amazing, and I you. love all. Thank you. All the color combinations. Basically, you can't go wrong. No, but. And the mohair, you guys, come on. Oh, I love it. Jody. This has got more ease to it. But that's like, super cozy. Right? Yes. I like to wear them more on my forehead. That's adorable. Isn't that? Yeah, that is super adorable. Anyway. Anyway. Have you been watching anything good on TV? Not really. I don't think so. Not oh much. yes. What? We on Paramount Plus, there's a show called From, mm. and it's very spooky, weird Stephen King. Mm. It's like this town that sucks you in, and like you can't leave. They don't know where they are. They're basically stranded. You can't leave. And when the sun goes down, all these monsters come out of the woods. It's very oh. like kind of really? zombie. Anyway, it's a whole culture. These people are in this town, but every night there's... Like these people that come out of the woods, they're kind of like zombie-ish. I don't know why. We love it. There's two seasons. We finished a whole season really? already. Yes. It was really good. And we're really liking the crowded room on Apple TV+. Plus. Okay. I watched half of the first episode. I had to stop. It's very good. Because I thought Shane and I would love to watch yeah, it together. Yeah, it's really good. Um, so that's it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. A star says, sounds like Minecraft. It does. Minecraft, that funny game. What? Um, that, that virtual world that you build it's kids getting well i know the what it is oh okay how does that because sound... at night uh the the i forget i don't know what their names are they come out okay yeah 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 no it's one of those scary things right mm -hmm. um but it's all like you know characters and families and all that stuff mm -hmm. it's awesome. pretty gross yeah. yeah okay good i love yeah. finding new shows yeah it was good Okay, what's and next? And you know who's in it. Who? So it's also the producers that have done Lost, Alias, Game of Thrones, Stranger Things. So they know a few things. It's very much in the lane of like, I would put it like Stranger Things and Lost. Stranger Things and really? Lost had a baby. I feel like there's elements, if you like those shows, that you're going to like this. Okay, love it. And actually the sheriff is Michael from Lost. I love I also watched Lost, but way later like yeah. way years after like you know how there's like you don't understand yes. certain things and what's really going on and like i needed cole's notes after it ended right and so where like, are wait. they yeah. this town is like nobody knows where they are okay it's bizarre and they tried to drive out of it and leave it and it was a loop like you were not allowed to leave You're see not... i'm one of those people that are like wait what just happened yeah. or do you talk a lot during shows I'm sure you, try you get to, things better. But I'll say to Jeff, what did that guy just say? Right. <laughs> like, what just happened? Is this, okay, good. Is this what's happening? It's kind of nice to watch certain things That's together, so right? Um, yeah, because sometimes even if you're watching something, you're still doing it together, right? Yeah. Like and it's I'm nice always to knitting, so let's be real. Yes. I may have missed something. Right. And before I forget, I wanted to say our friend Kirsten from Edmonton that was at yes. the retreat has a podcast on YouTube. She's an amazing knitter. Her stone crop cardigan makes me want to knit oh. one so badly. You can find her here on YouTube under, it's called Paper Knits. Yeah. She's just started. She's got a few videos. She's a phenomenal knitter and a great person. And she is adorable. We if you're looking her. for a new video to watch, um, absolutely go check out Paper Knits. She was very sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really like spending time with her. Okay. Do you think everybody went home and said, oh my God, that Jody? The worst. Worst. Yes. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs down. Would not recommend. Um, okay, so I've got some things to show that I got in the mail. But aren't you going to show these? Well, I'm going to show these hats, but I want to talk about the, f I'm going to show the fades too. Okay. Do you want to do that right now? Yes. Okay, good. What I love it. What time is it? We've Perfect. got time. Um, so... 
I had talked about, I showed it fades. I'm in love with these, Jody. So this is, this is me just measuring last night, just confirming. I got a bunch of stitch markers. These look a little long. I did tweak the pattern a bit there. It's a repeat shorter on the, on the pattern, but the, this is just all to show. I want, still wanted to show this. It's you get so... to knit it to whatever you like <gasps> it to be. So this is a large, ver this is the large hat, Trace, just okay. for reference. But it's got some slouch, and people just love. Some people just love to wear their hats like that, right? With more of a slouch. I think they're look. adorable. Don't you and think fast, they're cute? Like, I just think they're like, oh come on, how cute, how cute. <laughs> we can take a screenshot later. <laughs> but okay, so I, I'm really proud of these Jody, fades that beautiful. we've done. We have 12 fades, and I'm going to show you every single one of them. We've hit on 19 of our colors because, right, some of the colors are just like a darker version right, of, the, right, right, of right. the rest. So you are wearing the Lucky – no, the Lilac Ice fade. Of course I am. Why and the Lilac I? Ice is your second color in the fade. So because sometimes the, the dark, you don't get to see it a lot because it's the end of a fade, right? I thought it would be fun to cast on using the dark color. And then we fade it starting at the lightest color and you fade in. Now, I don't have the instructions in the hat to fade, but I did every two or three repeats. Two or three of the slip stitch rows, I would change. If you do an Instagram post with these, you I could will. just write fade. I Yeah. The fade instructions. Exactly. And then people... So there's six colors in every fade, and paired with it is a skein of undyed yarn. Um, what was I going to say to you? So this is your fade. I just want to say, I'm so You're gonna proud of you. Thank you. You guys work so hard. We do work really hard. And you're making these beautiful patterns. Yeah. You guys are working your butts off. And I know lots of indie dyers do that. And I know how much work indie dyed yarn mm -hmm. is. But I'm lucky enough to be behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And I get photos about, oh my gosh, we're doing all these fades. And here's my new hat. Mm -hmm. I mean, not just one hat pattern. You have a bunch of hat patterns. Yeah. And I do find your yarn inspiring. Uh, and I know a lot of people see. find your yarn inspiring. They, you know what? Yeah. We love you guys what are we're killing doing. It. We actually, f we're, we feel like we're finding a groove. We love our colors. We love what we're doing. But it means the world. I knew you felt like that. Yeah. But thank you because it, that means the yeah. world to no, me. No, I do. I feel that every single time you bring yeah. new stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's why I have so much of your yarn. <laughs> because I want it and I love it. And I would buy it. You're so No cute. matter what. And Jody's like, don't you dare buy it. I'm giving it to you. So I feel... Oh my God. I keep lucky. increasing her dis discount. Oh so like when she checks out, right. you shouldn't buy a thing, but then you do anyway. Anyway. I know I do. Anyway. So that's You're your not the boss of me, FYI. That's your fade. Okay. It's beautiful. So they'll all come with an come undyed on. skein. And then this is my fade. Tell me about this hat. Is it fingering? Like, are you holding things double? What's going on? It's a DK weight hat. Yeah. Using a 4.5 millimeter needle for the body. But. This stitch here, the so when you're slipping your stitches, because this is fingering. Oh yeah. So, but the hat is DK. The hat is DK. And for fading, did you use DK minis? DK minis. Okay, good. So here's Just, the thing. So that this is what I'm saying. We did these fades, but we also know that not everyone wants to knit DK. Right. So the fades are available on DK. DK Sparkle, Fingering, and Fingering Sparkle. Love. Right? So, yes, we have the DK fades to go with these hats. But, I mean, I'm thinking socks and shawls yes. and sweaters. And yes. I love that you've done it in two different ways. I just wanted to know yeah, that would have thrown you off. what makes the hat. DK weight hat. And, actually, with the this, this kit, you're going to be able to get two full large hats out of one kit. Wow. Yeah. And not held double. So, it's all single right. for that one. And Kelly said sweater. Yes, yeah. sweater. So I'm showing you, yes, I brought all the fingering make because that's what I had individually twisted. Mm. But the kits, you will buy Come the DK on. one. This reminds me of hibiscus, like actual little irises mm. and crocuses. That's a good, and, that would be a good name for that. But look at how beautiful. So this, I super love this pale one too. This one? This is one of my favorite nail polish I colors. I know. You know what? There's been a couple of colors that have come out of these this, fade sets. I don't know what that is, yes. but I love it. Almost ghost. Yeah. I don't know what the color right? is. I have nail polish that color, and I love it. So this one is hibiscus, 
And this one is Barbie Girl. And everything in between is brand new just for the fade. Just for the fade. And it's done by measurement. So it's the same die, just different portions, right? Right. So you're getting a true fade. <gasps> okay. okay. Hibiscus. Ridiculous. Lucky Lavender. Okay. Oh the God. next two colors. So nice. <gasps> this is Neon Coral and Elmer. So this one is Elmer at the end, and Neon Coral is number three. What about a striped DK sweater? Tracy. With your fades? Yes. Like get someone to knit a sample? Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Fingering and mohair, yeah. but DK faded mm -hmm. stripes. I love that. So that's mohair and um, Elmer, two of our colors. <gasps> Cecilia, good morning. Good morning. Okay, okay, love. This next one. So Elmer is the the far, the bright end of that one. <gasps> this next one is um, Mayflowers. Mayflowers and Pop Rocks. And this is so beautiful. Oh my God, that's beautiful, Jody. It's a real purpley pink. The hat is called the Saturday Hat. You'll Brand find, new. You'll find it on Ravelry, but you can get the pattern for free if you're ordering yarn over at Frankie Gray Fibers. Yeah, so that's that. Okay, I love it. This I'm still one, guys, obsessed with this color. This one <gasps> is lollipop and oh God, stiletto. Joey. So stiletto is number two, uh, number five, and lollipop is number three. I think. I'm such a coral fan, right? Yeah, that's Huge. a real pinky. <gasps> so good. Okay, so that's that. This one is eucalyptus. <gasps> I love eucalyptus. Right. So eucalyptus, I think, was number five, and you know it is. Jody, it I love that. Fade. Right. You pick whatever fade you want. I'll leave it with you to have fun with. Oh my god, this one is lucky lavender. Oh, that's beautiful. Right. That's not this. No, that's lilac ice. That's this one. This is lucky lavender, <gasps> hey, and have... lucky lavender is this one. That is a nail polish color. Right. Really. Your nails look good. Purple. I hadn't picked. This is. Uh, black cherry chutney. Oh, I love that one. There's a little baby sparkle in it. It's OPI. hard to see, but love it. Yeah. Jolly. Okay. I don't even. This is. Oh, that's so pretty. Blushing bride, which is the dark one. Oh my god, that's so pretty. And we have a brand new color. It's called ballet slipper, and I'm going to show you. It is like the palest, the palest, prettiest sandy pink. It's so beautiful. So that's blushing bride and. Ballet. Um, of course, <gasps> Jelly Bean is the dark, uh, the second darkest. Aquamarine is kind of the middle, and then Soft Aqua is here at the end. Ooh, that one got three. This colors. one got three of our colors. It's so beautiful, so pretty. Okay, so okay, next. somebody just said she would love to see these with a black solid. Yeah. Okay, so here's so could they leave an uh they can just the order notes, it. or can you just order the minis by themselves? Not this round. Okay. They're they, coming. They're coming. Okay. But not till like way later. But right August. now these are being sold like this. Okay. This is lemony limey. Yeah, you'll just have to get a black skein and work and yeah. go for it. Okay. Love. Lemony <gasps> limey is the darkest one. And we put this next to hello the second one to next to hello yellow. It's real close. So you could almost say this is Hello Yellow Lemony Limey, but isn't that pretty? Yes. And then this is a new color for us. Ooh, Jody, that's really pretty. This is super periwinkle, like a very blue purple, yes. blue lilac. This one is Delphinium. This new color is Delphinium. And then this other one is Cornflower. I think it's Delphinium. Those are really pretty. These two. I forget. I, I I have them to show, but this is another new fade. And then this is another new fade. Frog. <gasps> where it goes from really, really oh super gosh. light. I have the bag of I'm tweaking that, that one. From you. Don't worry about it. Um I this is upstairs. this is called frog and this is really beautiful. I, I still have a touch of tweaking before the fro this frog color makes it to our dye to order. I haven't got it exactly what I wanted yet. It's fun that you're working on a um, yeah, developing a new color. But it's a dirty green. I love that. Yeah, that also goes so well with the Mayflower family. That dirty green. It's a super pretty combo. So, Jody, you guys are. That's it for the fades. Okay, so wow. That's it. That's all. 
<laughs> Twelve <laughs> Twelve babes. Babes. Wow. Here's the thing I also want to touch on is that when you're knitting these very, very light colors with something like a black yarn, yeah. you run the risk of transferring dye. Because, because there's a lot of black. Those really like charcoal to black, um, the really dark saturated, even the right. real like Elmer. We rinse our yarn, but there are notor yarns that are notoriously just give off a touch of yarn. Yeah. So you run the risk. You're not going to notice it on this or, right. you know, these, but you may notice it on this. So we recommend and Now we have an insert going in with our yarn that maybe steam blocking would be better than actually submersion. If you're doing a high contrast and it of matters colors. if it's warm wa water, right? Cold, cold water. So use cold water when you're blocking. Yeah. But, and if you're really concerned, like I, I had red yarn bleed once. Mm hmm and it's a giant bummer because there yeah. was a striping yarn and the other stripes were crisp white and it was just a mess. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good idea to test yarns that you mm -hmm. think may be an issue. Yeah. So you just wind off a little butterfly and soak it mm -hmm. in cold water and see what happens. And it might give you an idea before you start your project. Exactly. Because yeah. I, a bl like a, a parchment, like next to natural color, next to a charcoal, you run the risk. I mean, we rinse it tw everything two or three times, and ninety nine percent of the yarn comes clean. Right. But there's those few colors that are super saturated that you just run the risk, and that's yeah. that's what hand dyed yarn right. can happen, right? I, and I would never want someone to knit a whole entire thing with giant contrast, right. super bright, right, right, right super right. muted, and then at the end, I had someone this week reach out, and I felt so terrible like as a yarn dyer you would never want to hear right that and of, yeah so anyway i just want to to say not that i thought anything was going on wrong on the other end but just, just talking about the black yarn right yeah. dark, they had charcoal with and here's the deal it's tough to get a really dark black so there's usually a lot of dye if you've got a really black yarn chances are yeah not that it will run, but there was a lot of dye happening. There's to get that nothing color. budging off any of these. Look how beautiful that is together. Yeah, I d made sure I tried to get, you know, some brights and then some more, you know, softer, softer colors. So you guys have just killed it. So beautiful. I love it. Do you have a color that is just something you can never keep in enough? Like it's a huge fan favorite, or the palette, or is it pretty even? Um, it's funny. And I bet it's seasonal too, hey? Like yeah. in the summer, it'll be something yeah. bright. We started talking fall colors. Like we've started like yeah. thinking, what are we going to add? So you pick a couple of fades. I'll leave with you, you to play Jody. with. I'll just throw them over here for now. Thank you. Okay. I'm spoiled. Um, I can't. I yeah. love your hat. Thank you. Totally going to knit it. Everybody that knit it said it's such a fun knit. Did you see Nancy? Yeah. You guys. <laughs> Nancy knit it for her daughter. I got to show you because it's ridiculously beautiful. She posted. It's like aquamarine it's, color. I think in our Grocery Girls um, stories right now, too. Right now. She sent me some pictures. Aww. <gasps> so cute. Look at the hat. Can you even with that face? What a great color for her. Isn't it? With her yes. dark hair. She oh, my goodness. Who knew in California they needed such things? And that's the sweater she was knitting that... It must be done or the tunic oh yeah anyway the color combinations are endless it's so much fun but but don't feel like it has to be obviously purchased sass busting would be amazing with this yeah totally yeah yeah love it um okay well i don't know that i have anything left to share i have one skein of yarn okay <gasps> I, oh my god okay i reached it do you remember when so I shared my linen cotton ranunculus last time. Mm -hmm. And remember how I said I have no idea how far yarn goes and I order yarn? Yeah, how much did you have left over? Oh, I had like three quarters of a skein left over, but I thought I was going to be playing yarn chicken. So this was the yarn Wool Addicts Pride. It's cotton, linen, bamboo or rayon or something like that. Viscose. Yeah. So I ordered, I went online and there's a yarn shop called Wool and Company. I think it's in Illinois. And I, they had this color. Let me tell you, hard to find this color. Uh, so I ordered two skeins. That's how, anyway, 
I ordered it, you guys. It's the same lot number as the one that I bought a year ago. What are the odds? So I could, I mean, if I really did run out of yarn, if it was a big sweater, I was not even gonna have to alternate. Like this was the same. And how many skeins do you have left over? You didn't need either one. I have ones. this left over. I don't need either of them. I honestly yeah. think I'm gonna give these two skeins as a prize because I really loved this yarn. It would make a phenomenal shawl or tank top or something like that for somebody. And I would love it if somebody knit it up. I could also stripe it with something. I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm going to do. But crazy that this is the, mm -hmm. literally the same. So I I now have almost three skeins. I, I You talk about when you look at the sweater, how much shine you see. I don't really see. You don't? Well, but maybe in the fabric it's a little bit. It's so beautiful. It's no really wonder, pretty yeah. Color. No really wonder the color, color. color was hard to find. But when they when I ordered for them, I was like, well, maybe I should get something else. They carry Mayak. Oh. So I love the Tibetan Cloud at Mayak. It's a sport weight wool, 100% uh, wool. This was a uh, base that does not have yak in it, but they had this jade green. This stunning. How nice is that? Yeah. So I already have some Tibetan Cloud, and I'm planning oh, on that's making so beautiful. a striped sweater. Um, and so this is going to go, I have like a coral and a navy, and mm. then my body is like white. It's going to be really cute. That. I'm imagining pinstripes, like big wide stripe of white, and then these three bunched together. Oh, like two beautiful. rows, two rows, two yeah, rows. Yeah. Kind oh, of like vintagey looking. That. Yeah. Well, I that's, you inspired my brim for that when you said, what about, when that yeah, indigo like micro hat? stripes. And I thought, okay, oh but goodness. that looked... Listen, you don't need inspiring. You were no, already. No, but I, you inspired me, and then I went, oh, I'm loving this. So good. I did some stripes. It looks good both ways. Okay. Okay. Louise, That's it for me. the Wool Baron. <gasps> Jody, I can't believe you got this. One of them's for you. I literally commented on her thing. Thank you. Yours, this you, is... you get to choose whether you want the one with the mini or not. I thought we could give one away or put it in some sort of giveaway. Well, where's yours? I have a DK. Okay, good. At home. So this is called Electric Boots. Okay, let me pull up the picture. It's such this is a cute from color. Louise, who is the Wool Baron on Instagram. She's an amazing Alberta dyer. The first round of pre-orders are just finishing up being shipped. And this weekend, I believe, another round of pre-orders are going up. Yes. This color is incredible. That's what it is. It's like a light sand background with neon stripes and like the aqua then the yes. yellow the hot pink the orange there's no purple no blue it's okay electric and boots electric boots yeah so if you go to her shop and it looks sold out keep your eyes peeled because the pre-order is coming yeah um jody thank you i love don't it don't you love it yes i, I love it i got the last skein of dk on this previous pre-order i actually felt so there was a fiber festival what was it called? Right Creekside? before we left. Yeah. Like the day before we left. And it's a few hours. It was a few hours away. And we normally would have made a road like trip. Like two or three? Oh, Not an Airdrie. Three. I mean, yeah. two and a, a half A fun road trip. It would have been a really fun road trip. I was a giant bummer to miss. Um, but that's where we would have been able to see Louise. So we've got to get to another Alberta Do you know what's pretty festival soon. I agree. That yeah. would have been a fun yeah, one. Yeah, I would really have liked to have so, gone. So Lethbridge, had we not been an hour almost at the border to yeah. get across, it was like two and a half hours door to door. Yeah, it was such a Two Great drive. Falls, right? Oh my gosh. So do you feel like going to Montana today? Yes. Right. Our car rental guy said they crossed the border to go shopping all the yeah. time. He was, he was so nice. He was so sweet. Yeah. When I was booking our trip and I was looking for a car, I usually price compare between... Yeah. Car rentals, right? Yeah. Sometimes somebody else has a really good deal. But it kept taking me to national. And I was like, what's going on here? The airport is so small. They have one car rental. It is just this one little, and it was a good deal, so it didn't matter. But it was so funny because we don't think of that. Like their airport is the quaintest, cutest, single yeah. gate. Mm -hmm. Brand spank. Like so clean, so cute. Yes. Are there big lounge chairs that we sat in for oh my departing? God. Everything about this trip, I can't even think no. of anything that was kind of sideways. Oh. It was really fun. We got to the airport leaving Oh yeah, with plenty of time, and then it got delayed, delayed, delayed. We're like 45-ish minutes leaving, and our or 20, 30. Anyway, our connection from Calgary back to Edmonton was only 45 minutes, so we're like, we're missing our flight. Right. 
we landed and it said your flight home to Edmonton was delayed. We were so lucky. Because we, we were missing it. We had to connect and we were delayed half an hour from Lethbridge and then we get to Calgary and our flight is delayed half an hour yep. home. So yes. it was like, I feel like it was all good. Good travel karma. That was because you got to be a good person. I believe karma is a thing. We'll give away we'll give away the one with the mini because okay. that's so fun and okay. everybody can have a sock set. So that'll go into our sock bash prizes, which is very exciting. That's a good one, isn't it? Oh, I, and I even so bought that before good. I saw the sample. Um, Louise has really fun color sense. I always like her yarn, and she's also the one that did the incarcerated zebra, which is black and white and that's about that. another one that I love you know that's you always said that was such a good one to add as a heel and toe for like a solid I like it it's so good black and white stripes yeah forever they go with everything I would love to make so when I was knitting my super simple summer sweater I'm picturing it in black and white mm -hmm. in wool mm -hmm. or fingering and mohair wouldn't that be nice I gotta knit a new sweater black so when I see Hoji, right maybe it's this new one. Oh, Jody. Maybe one of my knitters would like to knit it. What about? In Frankie Gray. I feel like you can get Gage with DK. I feel like that too. I'd like a little bit of an open Gage. Yeah. Um, I was going, I, I wanted to. knitting just... the baby size because my Gage is so big. <laughs> Double extra small. What's going on? Oh, this it's is so, so cute. I just wanted to go online. Lola Bean's um, website is just closed for some catching up or some business things in the background. So keep watching. Sign up for their newsletter. But this arrived. And I messaged Adela. I said, That's wait a minute. so cute. Did I order these? Or did you send me these? She goes, no, you ordered them. But I love them. Well, that's because the graphic is adorable. Isn't that graphic adorable? I've been wearing them to die in. I was wearing it the other day. I wore one to sleep in. What a cute character gra I love it. graphic. And I love a black t-shirt. Crochet all day. They're coming out with all kinds of fun stuff at Lola Bean. They are. As always, just sign up for I love the clean bean list. soap that they just came out with. Did you order that? No, I didn't know. I keep meaning to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I did not know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Um, um, okay, well, now what's going on? I, I just feel like... I have very little few things to show. Um, you know who came out with a brand new sweater, and it's a vest? Did we... That's Caitlin. That's the designer. Did we show it last time? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, right here, right now. Do you guys remember the long sleeve sweater she did? Yeah, and the scarf. The, I think the scarf might be a free This pattern. is now... This is Aaron. It's a 16-stitch gauge. Hey. I get that on a 6.5 millimeter needle with fingering mohair. Okay. So you guys, it's not scrappy. just scream scrappy. Just not an errand. Like, don't let errands scare you away. Don't let the thicker yarn scare you it away. It doesn't mean it has to be a dense fabric. No, you can use thinner yarn to get a, the gauge with yeah. more space in your stitches. Yeah, right. I love that, and but I think I, it's knit um, using lamb and kid yes. fuzzy birdie yarn Which is or big birdie. So or beautiful. Something I mean, like look that. at her palette. Oh my gosh. It would be gorgeous knit in this yarn. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, and I always think this is cute. Oh Did my you know gosh, this? That's cute. Amy Amy Munson puts out a little pattern every no, month. No, I did not. Didn't I show a Yeti last time? Well, I didn't realize it was a monthly Any, thing. I didn't know either. This is July Tweety Bird. Last time was June something. Okay, that's adorable. This is her new pattern. It's lit in, knit in DK tweed yarn. Oh my gosh. Right? So cute. Jody, that's adorable. And then the only other thing I wanted to show was I was just inspired by this granny uh, purse. I have to buy this Alpine Bloom sweater. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I love um, this I found on Instagram, but I didn't find it on Ravelry. But I, if you Google... The Grana, G-R-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, tote bag. You Is can, it a, so it's a kit from Hobby Yarn? You can just get the pattern, but there are kits too. And it's got granny squares down the side. Right. Down okay, here. that's adorable. That caught my eye because that's cute. Um, oh my God, How that's is everyone so cool. doing with your crochet? Listen, it's on my list to learn how to do a, a granny square. And I'm not even kidding, I want to badly. I actually want to knit those really cute granny square socks, but as shorties. Somebody knit it in our group, I posted the other day. I saw that, but I want to do it like where the granny yes. squares are just the whole leg. And that's perfect, because I like about an inch, inch in and in a bit before I do that's my That's my heel. goal, God. yeah. So our, 
I mean, we in two more weeks we have a podcast, and then I think after that you're going away, and I um I'll be off. But well, I'll be doing some designing, which I'm super excited about. You to should. Get back you guys to. wait till you see what Tracy's coming down the pipeline. <laughs> yeah. I um, don't even know when I'm coming. Oh down. no, it's gonna be good. Oh. Um yeah, okay, next I'm time. Excited now. Next time is the fifth, right? Your birthday. Almost. And then I leave the following week. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be the month of July will be um for three weeks in July we'll be we'll yeah. be out. Yeah. Yeah. So but but I do I'm hoping next time, next week. To show you something with a granny square. Yeah, you will. I really want to finish this sweater. And then after that, I think it's granny squares. And I really want to finish my eclair pullover with my beautiful cables. So, and I also want to knit hohe sweater. And I feel like by that, the end of the summer is going to be over. Mm -hmm. There's only so many months in the year, mm -hmm. right? But I really want to do that whole alpine bloom. I'm also thinking about doing the color work in double mohair. Oh, wow. That would be amazing. I have some Sonder yarn fingering weight in the pale, fresh sheets color. Pale, yes. icy blue. And that's what I'm sort of thinking I'll do the body of that one with. Mm -hmm. I love using the yarn that I've already bought. You know what we could do? We could pick, oh my gosh, pick like a charity and maybe for your birthday ask people to donate a dollar my birthday yeah i don't know or buy buy your patterns <laughs> we'll, we'll think of something you guys you know what i did also who knows over at i've got some frankie gray fibers oh, to Jody, show. That's so i just cute. wanted to show i just have a, a little bit more you guys loved this um textured knit books it it's back in stock out of the shop yeah it, it's back in stock it is so beautiful it's paula Pereira, the designer and oh my goodness, these items, the, her designs are so beautiful. So You're going to knit these things and people are going to be like, I, I can't even believe that you knit no. that. It looks like something you bought in a shop. Making memories. Also, we were out of stock. It's now back in stock. People love... I'm going to need one of those for myself. They flew Do you have one? The shop. No. Okay, this one will be for you. But we it's have, and so we good. also have one. It's going out as a prize in one of our knit-alongs, so... This, this is, is beautiful. This is Claudia Q, who owns a Toronto yarn shop called You Knit. Yeah. And she's a phenomenal designer. And she's now designed all of these beautiful classic children's designs yeah. for everything, though. Love like it. cardigans, sweaters, socks, everything. Um, and I just feel like. And it's stunning. also a Lina publishing book. So, so is this. Like they're both, they're just stunning. They're beautiful mm. books for your library. Um, also. Um, the pom pom that we featured is back in stock. This is number 45, which is summer. Okay. The only time I've ever thought about having someone knit something for me is the front piece of that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. That's crocheted. I know. That's why I'm not doing it myself. So pretty. <gasps> lots of crochet in this issue, lots of knitting as well, but it's a really nice combination of both. I was looking at this book and I thought to myself, every single item in this book could have been the cover shot. Look every this, design look in this, this book. Look at this hat, you guys. Are you kidding? There's it's bags, that tank top slash dress. Look at this. Listen. Yeah. And I love the bright, juicy colors they picked in this book. Mm. Like I'm thinking, oh, it would be so good in black, but you know what? That would be for winter. This, knit yourself something bright and sunny to go with your tan. This looks like, like a cantaloupe kind of. Yeah. Um, that okay. bag is phenomenal. Do you guys remember when Tracy was talking about that that beautiful polka dotted sweater and it gradiated all those pinks? Remember? Yes. The dots. The dot sweater. It's a olive. Guess who bought a kit? Jody. Wow. It's amazing. So I she had kits. Um, I pre-ordered a kit, and I think it's incredible. Remember we talked, we weren't sure what it was. This is her. It's an al wool Angora. Angora. Let me see what Hope that I'm not like. allergic to rabbits. Right. Remember that time I bought Angora yarn and <laughs> can't even use it? Treat you can't. Why? Weren't you allergic? Like just sitting here showing it. Well, that's it. Are you serious? You're allergic to it. Well, that one that we bought, remember we bought it at yeah. that? And you couldn't use it. I don't think so. But I guess it depends how much Angora is in here. There's only 20% in here. I'm only 20% allergic to this yarn. As your throat okay, it, swells it, shut. <laughs> um, 
It's got a slight halo. What do you think? Like an alpaca yarn. Talk about the softness. Oh, it's so soft. So it's 80% merino, 20% alpaca, fingering weight. So these are 50 gram skeins. Maybe How you nice hold it that? double. Because this is not fingering, is it? No, this is DK. No, this is, okay. I'm confused. I don't know. I'm confident she sent me the right stuff. <gasps> you guys, Tracy, feel this. Oh, that's soft. What is Super that? Super wash merino, 100%. DK. Okay, that's interesting, hey? Maybe the color work's done with... I would There's think... patterns that are like that. This says superwash, but it almost feels like it could be like a super soft non-superwash, if and that makes sense. Maybe the super, maybe the Angora fluffs up, you know, like a, mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm. Okay, so Vanessa is my creative garage. Yeah, and that's where you can find it. Wow, she's got great bags and yarn. And she needs a ton of samples. Right. This she sent for the podcast. What? This is... What does it say on that one? This is the her boucle yarn. Pinks and, Pinks and peaches, 82% super fine alpaca, 13% merino, it's her 5% nylon. It's a boucle base, fingering weight. I literally am itchy on my stomach. You are not. <laughs> are you? Like, like you right here, I feel like I might be allergic to angora, but you know what? Georgia is allergic to rabbits. Like her eyes swole shut at a day camp once. Help me make sense at the fact that you know you're allergic to, to yeah, but you shoved your face in it. I didn't know. That's the first time I had a reaction was that yarn we had before. Okay. And what happened last time? Same thing. I got super itchy. You feel itchy? Well, a little bit. We'll see what happens. Okay. Note to self, don't wear an angle sweater by Tracy. Um... But look, she sent us um, a, mini, a like really soft, beautiful palette of this Don't you love and this okay. giveaways. I haven't knit with it. Almost Thank you, Vanessa. At all. Yeah, I totally feel like. Yeah, she curates really beautiful things. I just have a few Frankie Gray she to show you. Happy birthday. No, I didn't. I promise. Okay, good. Now I'm now out. I feel bad. I promise you, okay, I did good, not. Good. Selfishly, it was for me. Good. No, okay, good. that's perfect. No, don't um, be selfish. It's not selfish. We over at Frankie Gray have used our graphic for a notebook. Cute. So these are available in our shop to purchase. I brought you one. Aw, thanks. That's our yarn photograph. Oh my God, that's so cute. We also have a little pack of cards just with our skeins of yarn on it. That is very nice, Joe. Part, I love part, note cards. Partly because we wanted note cards. Sometimes we have to include it or like to include a note. And then we thought, we'll just sell. Such a good idea. Okay. I mean, yeah. that is a great way to show off your yarn. Right. Okay. So. Thanks for um, the book. Oh my gosh. Flamingo was updated this past week. We've added Flamingo back oh, into wow. the shop. And we've paired it this week with a neon coral. We've paired it with charcoal, that hibiscus, is super fun. and mouse gray. So any of these combinations would work. This has a little bit of a light lollipop pour, um, which isn't totally different than neon coral. So we pulled. I love it. Yeah. What a fun combo. Isn't that pretty? I just, okay. I still love a great gray. I do too. This next one is called Mid... Oh! New Taylor Swift yarn. This is the Midnight. This, this is Midnight's. Did you hear some crazy MP? I know. Member of Parliament from Edmonton literally put out some kind of protest that Taylor Swift is not coming here. Okay, but can we just say, if you're an just announcing... Just an attention getter. Right, but if you're announcing Taylor Swift dates... Um, for international and don't include one for Canada. I why well, do you think it's finished though? Do you think it's finished the whole? It's weird. Yeah. Anyway, so let's go. Um, okay, this is beautiful. Boy, the speckles are nice on there. I just want to show you the graphic. Bottom. Midnight's. I love that blue. That. I just want to show you the graphic. And look at those speckles. So that's the graphic. Oh, wow. That's, that's the album so cover. That's so pretty. And it's available on DK and Fingering Weight. 
I love the idea of a club. Isn't it amazing? Such a good. And then I pulled a couple of colors. I actually feel like there wasn't an exact red, but our darker red is on the vine. We pulled parchment and indigo. And then I also. That's a great crisp combo. And then I thought smoke. And then this. And then smoke show was also really good. Super good. Right? Um, it was cold enough here this week. I wore mohair sweaters two days. Yeah. It was appropriate dress. It was freezing. And we had our fire on. That's how cold it was. Okay, this is a brand new color. We don't have to keep them the same. No? Once okay. they go back, they're okay. Okay. Okay, so. You guys. This Ooh, I is love a, the speckle drone. This is a brand new color. <gasps> this was Jordan's color. This is called Fairy Wings. And we've paired it with Sky High. Oh. We've paired it with Lollipop. This is a brand new blue. It's called Delphinium. That's really pretty. And a brand new color called Chick Flick. Oh! So I wanted to show the I love it. I wanted to show the difference between all of these. So this brand new one. It's a total fade. Is this is neon coral. This is lollipop. This is chick flick. And I want to show you with hibiscus just so you can see the difference. I adore pink. That is a great. So just so you can see, color family. it's pinker than neon coral, but it's softer. It's uh, these aren't the same colors, but just lighter, but not totally different than that either. Right. But I it's love really, it. Really, really, really pretty. Okay, but wait till you see this. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at the mohair. Oh. <laughs> Look at it just by itself. Look what it does with just the mohair beside it. Holy man. I, That's phenomenal. This is brand new. This is in the shop. You can get it on Tracy. Okay, illuminate, fingering and mohair. What do you think? Yes. That's really you let me know cool. I'll, or dye you whatever you want. I know, Marissa. Okay, so, but I just thought that mohair wow. is insane and literally it's one of these things that's going to go with everything yeah this will go with purples greens blues grays yeah natural look at, okay so this is our new color ballet slipper oh i love it it's exactly the color isn't it pretty yeah. <gasps> what? those two together we were so excited to have new colors wow but then this is redwood this is a brand new color oh my gosh you guys but look at those together oh <gasps> i love it yeah oh i love redwood too Rosewood. Jeff Miller. Hi, Jeff Miller. He said, Jeff, <laughs> what? he's going to golf and he goes, I'm coming home at 11, but I won't see you because you guys will be doing your pot. I said, oh no, we'll be done by then. And he goes, oh. Funny, <laughs> no, Jeff. you won't. Funny, Jeff Miller. You called it. Money. Enjoy your day. It's beautiful. Bye. And then he goes to Kelowna. Okay. How about this? Tomorrow. <laughs> he says to me, so normally... I book our flights yeah. when we travel. It's just I have the time, and so I do it. And it there is a little bit of a learning curve. So booking flights yeah. and all that stuff. So he gets a text yesterday at dinner that says they he goes, Why would they want me to check into my flight <laughs> two days early? <laughs> so um you booked Thursday and you're not leaving till Friday. So anyway. It only happens once. So he he booked the wrong day? Yeah, he booked the wrong day. He couldn't get away tomorrow or today? Well, and I mean, an Arn, his brother, he's going to go visit his brother who works on Friday. So it was all planned out. Listen, Jeff could have amused himself for one day golfing. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. He goes, why do they want me to check in already? I was like, uh, I know why. So, 24 hours before your flight. Jody, I can't even. When we talk about neons and neutrals, this is like for me a prime example. Because you could knit these three together and it'd be incredible. Okay, I are these yes. Yeah. I love them. Me. I too. love them. I love them. So much. Yeah. And then this blue. I don't know that I love the blue if I'm totally honest. Why? I, I do. I like it, but I don't know if it's what I was picturing. I think people I will it. like it. I love it. I love it. It's like a cornflower blue, and that is a very I think of corn. popular. Yes color actually it, this one's delphinium tracy but this is super easy to wear people two, yeah will be wearing this mm -hmm. for sure um did i just get coffee on it who cares sorry no you're good no i didn't it's probably food from me 
No, maybe it's fucking yours now. <laughs> um, but Tracy, this is an accompany. This is our fairy garden. No, Kelly said, do this. Yeah, See, pretty. she's right. Yeah. She knew it. It's a great blue. I think it's a really pretty blue. I mean, look at it there. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the shop. It's it's dyed to order. This Ooh, is the darker cousin to Fairy Garden, our last year winter kit. Okay. That I have wound up, and I've been off, honestly been thinking it would make the best color work. Like, I think that's the dark. It's the same, but just way winds. more intense. Okay. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is my favorite combination of the day. I love it. I love it. And I mean, it's funny how your tastes evolve. Yeah. Um, okay, there's Smoke Show, right? Smoke Show's so good. Smoke Show and Fairy Wings. Mm -hmm. There's literally like, the same, it looks like color family happening in there. Like it's looking really purpley right there, but then it when does. you put it next to something that's not purple, Oh, it's still smoke amazing. show. It is beautifully mauveish. A gray. It's mauve. a tiny bit. Yeah, I love it. I feel like the it's a great. Yeah. Oh, indigo is so good too. Do you really have to do accounting work today? Yes, I do. Is there a deadline? Well, yes. Okay. The end of the month, we need to. Yeah. It's our company year end, so yes, I do have to do that. Today. Is it hours and hours? No, it shouldn't be too bad. But I, I would like to just get it done. Yeah. And then out of off my plate and then mm. that was yes i do have to and it's my own fault because i just I'm not text me because i do you do require things from me too. yeah so whatever you need whatever i need from you uh, yes i'll talk to you yeah. about it there's not much it's mostly me okay it's not me it's you it's not this you it's is, me what if you did like that's <gasps> so fun lollipop ballet slipper chick flick so we were at Jody's house the other day for dinner and she has obviously, you know, works from home. You can see part of Frankie Gray, but she's got these two giant curtain rods with all of her semi-solids all lined up in rainbow order. It's dreamy. We needed them hung it's because so you dreamy. get inspiration from that, right? Like yes. you pull and where, where am I missing a color? We put two up actually and like atomic and key lime were literally... Almost identical. Okay. So then you pull that and add another one. Yeah, I'm sure that's very helpful. Yeah. I am totally allergic to um, Angora. FYI, note to self. How itchy are you? I can feel my throat kind of itchy. Closing? No, but like a everything's Benadryl? itchy now. Do you have to take a Benadryl? Maybe okay. after this I'll take another reactant or something. Well, I feel I'm like... i burn the Angora yarn. I feel like... You know, like you get that cottony feeling in the back of your throat when, like when the pop for, poplar fluff is in the air. Yes. And I feel that allergic. Yes. That's what I feel right here. So uh, I guess I'm not getting a bunny. I'm going to leave you that for giveaway. It's so funny, Just don't though. open the package. Why? Because I'm not going to knit. You bought it for yourself. Yes, I don't care. knit it. She gave me a really good, it's good. Of course you're going to knit it. No. Jody. It's garbage. It's funny, though. I've never felt that with any fiber. Isn't that interesting? But it was pretty instant when we shared that stuff. And not with stuff. horses. No. Well, horses and bunnies. No, but like different, like when people, like a lot, hmm. I'm not saying bunnies. Animal. And yeah. that kind I'm of animal. I'm not allergic to cats or dogs, but it's it's not funny, but it's hilarious. When Georgia went to this day camp and it was like a petting zoo outside and the phone a little bit like halfway through, can you come pick me up? And you think... Are you kidding me? Like, you can't get through a three-hour Georgia. Cap. And I get there, and her eyes are, like, she's covered in hives, and her eyes are almost swollen shut. And it was bunnies. She was petting these bunnies. So That's so funny. I'm not surprised by this, mm. but. <laughs> it's a bummer. It is a bummer because I'm all about the fuzzy yarn. And there's almost nothing softer than an Angora sweater. Right. I agree. Oh my gosh, Jody! Smoke show could go in there beautifully. Yeah, this is so fun. This was I a, love it when you bring. This was a really fun surprise. I, I love think it. that's going to be great for fall. You know what I think this needs to go with? Gingerbread. Yeah. I feel <gasps> like for fall, that be beautiful. Gingerbread and like this one. Mm -hmm. If you had gingerbread or whatever you're in your browns, it'll be really nice in the brown family. Yeah. Yeah. She's highly allergic to 
hoof stock. I had a reaction to a zebra. Oh, when that's, she... that's so funny. That's hilarious. I feel like it's funny sometimes to say you're allergic to weird things. And to say you're allergic to zebras is like, uh, sure you are. How about what if you're allergic to rosemary? Never heard of that. I call bullshit. I... <laughs> it's funny. How you people... know who you are. That's yeah, right. That's so funny. Our hilarious friends. Do you know we ate? She'll be like, what? Do you know we ate gluten free? I should have said before how much we enjoyed the food. And, you know, it was a small crew at this ranch, but they were amazing. And just, you would never have known. The it was amazing. Everything was incredible. Yes. The, the, the staff uh, that, that served us all weekend and that did everything. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Our friend says, outing myself. Oh, that's so funny. Nancy um, is allergic to, um, anyway, left turn. Uh, let, Nancy's allergic twirl. to rosemary. But the staff were 10 out of 10. And the the wrangler, the head wrangler, yeah. Jenny, yes. was incredible. Uh, literally, you guys, we were driving. We haven't even got to the building yet. We're on the little gravel road. And there's it's kind of narrow. So you pull over to the side a bit. And a pickup truck's coming down. And it's Jenny. So first face we see at the retreat is Jenny. And she's looking at the road, and I was like, ew, what is that? She goes, dead rattlesnake. I was like, it was a baby. But dead. D yeah, dead. So, yeah. That was the important part. Yeah. Anyway, it was funny. Um, what was it? I was going to say something in regards to that. Oh, they were so gracious. By the end, we were inviting them to sit and have a drink with oh, us. Oh, yeah. At the end of oh, the yeah. three and days. Oh, yeah. And the woman um, that was cooking, I mean, I think she was... The one cooking for everybody. The menus were huge. You yeah. had so much choice mm -hmm. and it, everything was phenomenal. We loved it so much. Okay, I'm thinking out loud and thinking how this would be so good in your hat pattern. Yes. Wouldn't These that be fun? Boucle, yes. These boucle minis would make such a fun thing in slip stitch pattern. Because they're, even though they're fingering weight, you could hold it double. But it's also got but a lot of But it's fluff, bulk. right? So you can, it will fill in the spaces. The I think little, that would be pretty. The little loops make it. Mm -hmm. I would like to knit more with boucle. I mean, come on. That is really, really cute. Well, look at this. Yeah. Now that color fade is awesome. Yeah, super but beautiful. Look at that. So single strap. I mean, you don't need to hold that double probably. Probably not. I don't know. Who knows? Well, you have to knit two stitches. You have to have a double of something. You could hold it with mohair. Bulk it up a little. Yeah. But then you have to knit it, knit both of them. Anyway. Someone might be a little zebra. I've never heard that allergic to zebra. I guess Me it's either, like horse hair. It's no, I bet you it's very similar. Yeah. Okay, guys. That's kind of a bad news for a zookeeper. Keep those hooks hooking. Right. Keep those granny squares coming. Grannying. Um, Do we have, our, our sweater knit along is also in full swing. Is it? I gotta check. I don't okay, know. but we're also doing we're doing that hot grinding square Is summer. It? I would have to look. But we're also gonna through the summer do we'll the just, knit along. We'll do a sweater make along too. So crochet sweaters, knit sweaters. Right. What was that funny? Cute it is on. Thing. Yes, it is. What was that? Yes, it is. Yeah. Ready, sweater, go. There. That's what we're. Jody, you're so right. I have not been in Ravelry much in the last two weeks. So hot granny square summer and ready, ready sweater go. And it's crochet, it's, and you could double dip. If you do a granny square sweater, you can put it in both knit alongs. Sure. Right? It, we're we're sure. all about that. But I'm very excited to see what people start making. And if you post your stuff on Instagram, we've got um, hashtags. Um, we'll have to do a, I'll do an Instagram post and share all of that better. But when you guys use the hashtag, we can flip through it and see what you're making and put it in our Instagram Love stories. And... Use the hashtag. We find you easier that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But here's here are the socks that I was talking about. Is that the? Yes. Grannies in a row socks. I just think they would be really cute as shorties and then use a self-striping yarn. I agree. I mean, they're going to be cute no matter what you do. I agree. But any okay. okay. Well, I hope everybody has a great couple of weeks. We will see you soon i was gonna say maybe we should do it every week but i won't have much to show in a week i got my bikini bod ready right 
Of course. It's always and ready. And got um, some plans for some fun knits. And I'm, let's see. Okay. Are you, do you know what you're starting next? No, but this is what I would like to challenge all of us. Uh-oh. Is to let's see if we can allow ourselves a little extra time of you time over the next two weeks. Right. And we'll you check need back to do in. better. Yes. Right. But let's. And yeah, I know it's right. not easy. Right. Rather than like doing something, sit down and knit for half an what hour. What about DK and mohair for Holy Sweater? Love. With your superwash DK and mohair. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. I love that. I should actually kit that, right? It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Because it's not a super tight worsted gauge, right? It's 19 stitches. So it's. What am I going to do? Jordan, I think I'm going to cast on Hohe Sweater Goat. Finish my Tracy. super simple, and I'm going for it with the Farmer's Daughter. Do um, it. You're going to be so I happy looked, with that. I there's a size that's exactly the size I would like to make. Oh. Like when you split for sleeves, there's one with the stitch count that will make the circumference that I want with my gauge, my different gauge. Oh, I love that. And I'm going for it. I don't think I'm going to re-swatch. I'm just going for it. Yeah. So, I love this. So it's good. so freaking no, nice. You guys, and we're like Pishkin DK. We've touched a lot of yarn. Candace's non superwash braces are so good. You would never I feel like if there was a blind taste test, a blind squish test, this recollect, reminisce, Pishkin, and the and the um Sioux coffee may I don't know that you're gonna think that this is non superwash just by squishing it. Treat yourself. But Rambouillet is like one of her non superwash bases. It is incredible. Totally. Yeah. Um, and there's great yardage on this for DK. I like agree. if it's a plump DK and it's great yardage, 255 yards. But mm -hmm. these, it plumps up a lot. So for a worsted weight yarn to have that much yardage and then it, it knits even bigger, yeah. it's really good choice for so worsted beautiful. weight stuff. Yeah. Jordan just texted me. Uh huh. What number on our yarn skein, skein winder twister thing yeah do you because there's a dial yeah how many spins do you do for minis okay and i said 6.5 and she said are you sure it's 6.5 i feel like i just about ripped my fingers off <laughs> so no i'm not sure <laughs> it is 6.5 but everybody like holds the tension different yeah. whatever it might be six i would her. totally volunteer for that job to pay for my yarn i would totally Tracy, volunteer one of my favorite jobs is sitting in the back twisting these and just having a book on okay like, you'll find me in the back corner that's the stuff i do maybe later when i could be knitting right but i do love it too okay anyway this well, has been fun it's been super fun super fun I hope everybody has a good making couple of weeks. And mm -hmm. you're right. Make some time for yourself. Mm -hmm. 161 minutes. Wow. These two never shut up. Oh, God. Okay. Bye. Love you. See mm -hmm. you.